Welcome in, everybody. Let's get it going. 888-5566. We're doing DAs tonight. You know the deal, right? <laughs> uh, well, we'll see how the connectivity and stuff is tonight because uh, <laughs> we've, we've never had a stream die in the middle of the intro before. That's a, a bad omen. I'm hoping that it's the only time that it happens tonight. We'll see. I don't really know what the dealio is. I'm at Reggie Rock again. You're doing the hunt in Sword and Shield or what? What are you hunting Reggie Rock in? Where are Z mods? Uh, that's a good question. Sir Shicker is at the hospital. He just had a baby. Not him specifically, but <laughs> him and, uh, yeah, the lady. Ceiling cat was 50 out of nowhere. Master Ceiling Cat Euroboros. I survived Ceiling my cat. encounter with the howling abomination that goes by the name of High Wind Alert and mm -hmm. didn't wake up face down in a random cornfield. Victory. Now I can continue my sacred duty to the Grand Master. <laughs> Glory to Thea name. Um, Ceiling Cat, I'm glad everything went well, or I guess as well as it could with the crazy winds. Guys, by the way. Get in on this DA, 888-5566. Guys, uh, get some ceiling cats, some uh, sneezels in the chat, if you will. Show some love. $50 redos is uh, ridiculous. You're a mad lad, as usual. <laughs> I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, doing it in shields, just loaded, standing in front of it. Yeah. The code, 888-5566. We need one more. All right, you guys got it. We, we were going off on a tangent. Uh, thunderous. Ice. Rock. Is that it? Ice and rock? I think that's it. <laughs> he doesn't have many weaknesses, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, Tesmo, welcome in. Welcome, everybody. I feel like I've neglected to say hi to everybody today. We kind of... It got off to a rocky start. <laughs> welcome in, though. Welcome, welcome. You should play Radical Red. I, <clears throat> I'm a little on the fence about ROM hacks because Nintendo's been kind of cracking down recently, and it's kind of freaking me out. I, I may or may not have tried a ROM, a ROM hack, not a ROM hack, a ROM hack at one point or another, but um. Yikes, there are not good options here. Uh, I'm going to go Sandcastle. I think it might have a rock move, but I don't know. <laughs> this <laughs> this is kind of an unfortunate path. Um, No name, welcome in. Comfort streamer, comfort me. Here, let me help you out. Are you comforted? <laughs> Uh, it occurs to me that you haven't had your weekly dose of Grey Be Gone. Ceiling Cat just says, I'm alive. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> uh, Ceiling Cat, I appreciate you, buddy. As always. <laughs> the Grey Be Gone. Uh, Calm has chosen violence today. Yeah. It's it's that kind of stream. You weren't here for the very beginning of it, but it it died during the beginning of stream during the song. Ceiling Cat with the twenty gifties. But you guys celebrate six months of membership. Underscore oh. calm dance colon underscore calm dance colon underscore calm dance. Um, Brian reads membership milestones now. He didn't used to do that. That's a that's a new feature. <laughs> well, McPablo, I appreciate the six months, and Ceiling Cat, I appreciate the 20 gifties as well. Guys, Ceiling ceiling Cat's in the chat, the Sneasels, show some love, maybe some, some pay buttons, some Mr. Kappas too, just show some love. And uh, everybody else, make sure you're opted in, exclamation gift in the chat, otherwise you cannot get one. Yeah, Brian got an upgrade. That's pretty cool, because those, I would always miss them. It was kind of, kind of tough for your boy. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Guys, if you have had a membership for over a month. Here you go. 
Raze is gonna get one too. Rowers. Of membership. We on that beast ball creep. Um, 19 months is insane, by the way. Let me just say that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you guys have had a membership for at least a month, you get a highlighted message every single month, which is just like a free super chat. And now Brian will read them. It won't just be highlighted. It will be highlighted and Brian will say the thing. Make sure you use it. That is a perk. One of the, the spicy things that you can do. <laughs> um, yeah, 19. Raze is one of the early adopters, we would say. An early adopter of the, uh, the calm ways. I think I'm going to try with Bronzong too. Well, you know what? We'll let Zach get this one, I guess. We really do not have good options here for this Thunderous. I don't know how difficult this DA is, but yeah. <laughs> I think Durant might have Rock Tomb, and I'm pretty sure Mean Xiao for sure has something. I think I'm gonna go right, right. I really don't need Mean Xiao, but you Kiwi know, we'll take it. Celebrates four months Kiwi of membership. Cat. Yo, I figured it out. Yo, you figured it out. For you guys who haven't figured it out yet, it's under the pay button. It's like the dollar sign in chat. You just go to that, and there should be like a membership milestone option as long as you have one available because you only get one a month also Baked mel welcome in celebrates 15 months of membership <laughs> let's get these shiniest um baked voldemort i appreciate you buddy and i appreciate the 15 months of membership and kiwi cats the four months just making your way up to what is six months is it ultra ball no you're at ultra ball so you're getting you're going to be a premier baller soon love to see it <laughs> Um, kind of L advan adventure path, not an adventure path. Yeah, it's, um, it sure is a way to start this. Brian reading membership messages. Yes. Yeah. He got an upgrade this week, I guess. Uh, beating ultra sun and moon so I can shiny hunt the Reggie's swords of justice and type null and poi pole. Yeah, I need to. So I've heard that type null is slower in ultra sun and moon compared to regular sun and moon so i don't know if you have both but that might be a consideration too i don't know how much longer it is but i've heard it's longer <laughs> accomplished my mission i have every da shiny legend um and all of the swords of justice that is insanity uh even all of the version exclusives and stuff too that is crazy that is Froggy a lot B of shinies. Nine months of membership. Froggy B, I appreciate you. For Owlet, no. Front facing baby chick yet. Um. Well. Pistachio celebrates five months of membership. Pistachio, Currently I appreciate 2, you. Currently 2,444 <laughs> SRs deep into my own Poipole hunt. Yeah, I heard Poipole isn't affected by the charm, which kind of sucks. But it's a really good shiny, so Lomona celebrates it works, right? Ten months of membership. Thanks Lamona, for getting me back you. into shiny hunting less than three. <laughs> uh, Lamona, I'm glad we could bring you back to the the shiny hunting ways. It's a good time. <laughs> Can't believe I've been a member for a year. Have you been exclusively gifted as well, Shirk? That really is a, like a, just a, a trophy for our community, I think. The fact that we can have people who have been members for this long without paying a dime. You know, I think that's pretty neat. And guys, I have to swap this. I think I'm gonna have to swap Drapion though. Cause I think the the idea is we're gonna keep Metal Sound. I'm gonna have two Metal Sound users and we're just gonna blast it with Shadow Ball, I think. I think that's the way we gotta do it. Um. And we'll get Mean Shell. So Akira, you can take Mean Shell here. Because it's going to have a rock move at least. Shout out to Ceiling Cat for helping me with my decks. Not sure if they're here. No, they are. <laughs> Ceiling Cat's always lurking. Always. Uh, we have retained Shirk for a year now. I know. It's, uh, it's really something. <laughs> um... Over 15,000 collectively for number two. 
Win over 13,000 soft resets for one poi pole. Oh, God. Yeah, that is brutal. <laughs> that's crazy, because that's like triple odds, and you're almost at quadruple odds on the next one. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a bad time right there. Metal Claw? I guess I'm just going to Metal Claw. We're going to do some damage. How goes it? No bark? Uh, it goes. First EA of the night. We had some connectivity issues at the starter stream tonight, but besides that, we're doing okay. <laughs> Dinner has been made. Time to chill and hang out. Enjoy. Enjoy. Still working on the Hisui and Zerua hunt? Phased twice. What'd you get? Hisui and Zerua is a good shiny, though. It's... It's worth it. It's worth the time. Goodbye, Vaporeon. <laughs> uh, do you have all the version exclusive DA shinies? And I'm very proud of them, as you should be. They're very good shinies. Gonna take over the stream soon. What do you mean? What you talking about? <laughs> um... I'm catching up on chat, guys. I'm sorry. I'm a little behind on chat. We've had a lot of highlighted messages. People realize that they had them. So they're they're using them. <laughs> you love to see it. If you guys have been here over a month, it's under the pay button. You get a free membership milestone message that Brian now reads out. I didn't know it was a thing, but we uh, we figured it out this week. He added the functionality. You got a spear to him. That's pretty dang Bully good. celebrates five months of membership, almost at six months. Mm -hmm, no mm -hmm. luck on Mudkip yet for auras. Um, sad times. Brendan oh. Larson celebrates nine months. <laughs> Everybody's of membership. popping off right now. Highlighted message. What's that? <laughs> Front facing baby chick. There it is. Um, well, Brian be getting a lot of extra use today, which is a good thing, I think. Right. It's good that Brian gets to kind of remember how to read going into the weekend. I think it's a, a positive thing for us. <laughs> My third spirit tomb. Okay, well, that's uh, maybe that's a couple too many. It is a fantastic shiny, though. Uh, Akira, yeah, this is all you. And I'm just going to be doing metal sound on both of my guys. So just blast them with special attacks. Uh, that's basically what we got to do here. We don't really have great, great options today. Um, Electric Seed's kind of interesting because, like, it's almost guaranteed that uh, <laughs> we're going to get Electric Terrain, right? Just like to say that my AI teammates, Vanillux, has missed every blizzard it's taken. Uh, yeah... <laughs> <laughs> For me, if it's not 100% accurate, it's a coin flip. It's a 50-50. There's no in-between. It's either it for sure hits or it's just, you know, heads or tails, baby. <laughs> That's how it goes for ya boy. We need to exhaust him. No, not poor Brian. He doesn't deserve that. Don't do that to Brian. You know, but if you got the... Uh, if you got the membership milestone, use it. That's what it's there for. Feel like I've heard that before. Yeah. Probably here every single time we do DAs. Four months of membership. Did for I cake. hear? Front facing baby chick. Front oh, facing God. baby chick. Front facing baby chick. <laughs> Please also help me. GL on humps. <laughs> uh, for cake, I appreciate it. Appreciate the good luck. Um, yeah, we'll see. We... If you guys weren't around for the last stream, we had insane luck. We got a shiny Lugia and then a shiny Kyurem like right after. So um, we're not exactly due for um, a shiny legendary, but you know, we'll take them. <laughs> this is our fifth and sixth D DA since our last shiny, which just so happened to be a shiny legendary, but we'll we'll see where the wind takes us tonight. It's for free, kind of. Well, with how many gifties we have here in the the community, it is for free for a lot of people, anyways. <laughs> um, 
have not been able to replicate it since. It was a truly pog moment. What was the pog moment? I've hit six guillotines in a row. <laughs> in what? <laughs> you had to have had something boosting the accuracy, right? Coco Cat, Palm Tree, celebrates Appreciate 10 months you. of membership, front-facing baby chick, fun mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. Fun times indeed. I appreciate y'all. I'm just gonna try to do some damage now. Cause we we KO this turn. Um, yeah, guys, if you haven't liked the stream yet, just think about it. We have more people than we have likes, so two dollars from for cake too. I heard cake. something about a front facing oh, baby God, chick. Please. Front facing baby <laughs> chick. Front facing baby chick. I appreciate front you, I think. Baby chick. <laughs> Front facing baby chick. Front what facing is the fire baby truck chick. for? Front facing baby chick. Front facing baby chick. Fire engine. Mm hmm. What does the fire truck do in there exactly? I'm not quite sure I get the. I mean, I guess they're fire. The Torchics. <laughs> Guys, I appreciate you liking the stream. Let's get a light goal 100 pinned up. How about that? We'll go 100 and then we'll go 150. Because I appreciate y'all liking the stream. I know we can get to 100. We usually start kind of getting up to around 200-ish. Then we start, you know, seeing where the wind takes us a little bit. Should this be going in a great ball or a dive ball? I feel like maybe a dive ball, right? We're going dive ball. Jess MS, you got it. You were in here earlier trying to get the first one. I saw you. CMH is just too quick with those light goals. I'm telling you guys. Did I hear you say, oh God, to the front facing baby chick? I got 100 more dollars worth of them. Oh God, please. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> Buy yourself something nice with that $100. Don't be tormenting me with these baby chicks. I did dive. Yeah, I think dive is the right play. Guys, this is our fifth and sixth DA since our last shiny. No Palisand, no Durant, no Mean Shao. I'm not really sure if I would be able to tell if this was shiny, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, okay, it's not. Is this noticeable when I get this? I don't really know. I feel like all of the, the genies have kind of bad shinies, if I'm being honest. Pin it, bud. Did I not pin it? I did pin it. I have a Lyco 100 pinned. It pinned. <laughs> uh, Y'all good? Blue turns purple. Does it? We've, we've figured out that I have issues seeing blue and purple, apparently. Kind of noticeable. Very obvious. All right. I'm going to trust you guys. Uh, will I be able to see it? I'm not positive. We're doing another Thunderous. We have to get a better path than that one, right? Um, all right, guys. If you were in the last one, please don't join back to back. But everybody else, now's your time. Code 8888-5522. Get in here. Uh, I think this one's the most obvious. Yeah, no, for sure. This one's definitely the best one. But none of them are amazing. <laughs> Uh, all but Landorus are very noticeable. Do you think Thunderous is? I don't know. Or, sorry, Tornadus? Like, uh, Tornadus is not a great shiny, I would say. But I haven't ever seen it in this game. Maybe I'll change my tune, you know. Uh, remember, chat is a few seconds behind you. Uh, with the... What? <laughs> I guess you like a couple seconds, right? I feel like I pinned that like 10 seconds ago though. Guys, we need one more. The code 8888-5522. Oh, King Pickle. You love to see it. <laughs> it's like a bad bruise. From the ceiling cat. I appreciate you. Master ceiling cat Euroboros. I hatched two back-to-back -back shiny ponytas under odds last night. Mm. Now I'm paying for that luck with a 2x over odds Tyrant <laughs> Masuda Hunt. Sag. Anyway, um, I gotta go soon. Good luck yeah. to all the homies. 
See you, Linkat. I appreciate the $10 redos, and I wish you luck in your Tyrant deal. I know that I'm going to be paying for my Masuda luck. If you guys didn't see, I got a crazy under odds Drampa. 84, 85 or something. Cake too. We're gonna oh try God. this. Skull, for front cake, facing please. baby chick, collision, purple heart, robot, God, no. man dancing, fire <laughs> engine, monkey, monkey, sparkles, monkey's sparkles, pretty good. Glowing star, last one. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Whether you're tormenting me or not, uh, I do appreciate you supporting the channel, doing what you guys do, you know. I feel like Nido Queen has a rock move, doesn't it? I'm gonna go right. At the very least, does Frostmoth? Frostmoth doesn't, does it? It doesn't have an ice move. Hmm. Read this when you see it. No, see, that's the thing, is I I am personally behind more than you guys are behind, just because I usually read it once it's kind of a ways up in the chat. That's not necessarily a, a technical thing. That's more of a a physical calm thing. <laughs> shiny Nido Queen would be awesome. I would agree. I would be down with a Shiny Nido Queen. I don't know if it has a rock move, though. I'm not really positive on that one. Do I do an ice move? I'm going to do dark. I think we're at least 10 to 15 seconds behind. No. I mean, maybe with me reading your message, but it's like a two to three second delay is what it should be. Let me make sure it didn't change on my stream settings. No, it's ultra low. It should be like a couple seconds tops. Here, I'm gonna monitor the chat. Mel, post something in chat and I will tell you the second I see it. I'm gonna be actively monitoring. It's just, I'm not normally actively monitoring calm galvantula what about it <laughs> hc welcome in uh glob vr welcome in uh something in chat there it is i saw it immediately i i read that as soon as it was right there in chat got tapu bulu and tapu coco at raid seven i have never had a shiny tapu in my life um, it's sad times. Eight seconds. I, that's longer than it should be. <laughs> a bald was doing thunderous today too. That's a weird, uh, coincidence. We got this after we got the, uh, the Lugia and I just saved it. You know, has anyone watched that fallout TV show yet? I have seen things about it. I haven't actually watched any of it yet. Think the Tapus are the coolest shinies? No, I mean, anything that is a black or a white shiny is always just like a 10 out of 10 shiny. Uh, Muncha bro. Good luck. We'll, uh, we'll see you around. I appreciate the good luck. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Going through a shiny drought in all games at the moment. Oh, Merrington. I'm oh, sorry to hear that, buddy. We... <laughs> I have a bad feeling that it, that's going to be the way things are for me soon, too. I've been having too much luck recently, and you know how that goes. After the good times comes the bad times. <laughs> uh, even when I've done DAs in the past, it's at least five seconds between you clicking something in my game and showing up on stream. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It shouldn't be that long. Like, usually it's a couple seconds. And you're for sure, like, live. on the, Like, you know how it works, right? <laughs> like, you're for sure, for sure live. Poipole's an amazing shiny white and gold, yeah. Yeah, he's a good shiny. It's just too bad you can't get him in anything but the olden times. Caught a Giratina in Legends today to progress more for the charm. So you're getting close, hopefully. It's pretty tough to get the charm in that game. It is not easy. Do I take this? I don't know. I don't think I do. Spork. One shot of Blacephalon because I had a water type with rain weather effect. Yeah. Uh, Blacephalon gets blasted. It's one of those ones that like dies immediately. Ferramosa, Kartana. They all get absolutely demolished turn one. <laughs> uh, release some Battle Cat plushies. Might get me one. Uh, but they're expensive. Hmm. 
Well, you got to pay for the, the good stuff, right? I'm going to go right. I think Nido Queen has like a rock move, I think. But if not, it at least resists the electric stuff. Keep switching between Shield, Legends, and Violet to no avail. I have not. I do not wish anyone this luck. Oh, Merrington, you're going to get something soon. Very soon. I feel it. If you get in on a DA, there's a pretty decent chance you get something here. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, pinned 100 a while ago. Oh, yeah, little man. If you're behind on, on chat or the stream itself... You might be seeing things way, way, like, way, 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 way late. Make sure you're live. You might be seeing this in, like, 15 minutes. Who knows? Click the live button down next to, like, the volume and the play button. I do think people calling the 3DS and Wii U dead are over-exaggerating. No, yeah, for sure. Um, they still have a ton to offer. Only Splatoon and Minecraft are majorly affected. Um, why? Because those used the Nintendo, like, online for the console specifically for the multiplayer? Yeah. Uh, people, for some, well, I guess not for some reason. I guess I understand why people would be confused about it, but when the 3DS online went down, a lot of people think that they can't transfer stuff now. But that's not the case. Pokemon Bank is independent of the like Nintendo 3DS online stuff. So uh, you don't have to stop your poi pole hunts. You haven't lost your chance yet, but the writing's kind of on the wall. So get to it if you want to transfer things up. <laughs> but yeah, the Wii U is awesome. I bought a Wii U when I was in Japan and it is a very fun console uh, for just like groups of friends when they come over. There's a lot of good party games on the Wii U. Nido Queen doesn't get a rock move. It gets Scorching Sands, Venoshock, Charm, Shadow Ball. Okay. Well, it'll do some Venoshock. It'll it'll get a stab Venoshock, and it'll resist electric stuff. Still not bad. Minecraft was on Nintendo Wii U. You didn't know that. Uh, no, I mean, they were saying that it was affected a lot by the online going down. Bad USPS luck means good shiny luck tonight. Who knows? I hope that's the case. <laughs> I sent that letter, by the way, Rays, to try to try to make it happen. I'll I'll keep you posted on that. Should I shiny hunt starters on Soul Silver or DA shiny hunt? I mean, here's the deal: we have a bunch of people doing DAs right now, so this is a, a good opportunity for anybody to shiny hunt with DAs. And if you aren't able to get on stream, Post a code in the chat. We have a bunch of people like ready to go on DAs. Get some some secondary groups going. Make sure you're always in a DA because this is the time. I'm not gonna swap, but one of you guys should probably take this. Um, <clears throat> probably Josh, right? Josh, you are weak to thunderous. I guess so is Basculin. I probably should swap too. <laughs> um, but yeah, the the Heart Gold Soul Silver hunts they aren't going anywhere. Let's go left. So you could do some DA hunts right now, and then once stream is over, maybe change it up, go back to Heart Gold Soul Silver. Uh Hyper Ninja. How you doing? Heidi Ho. When the Wii U came out, I beat Mario Wii U in one night. Had such a blast. <laughs> the like the new Super Mario Bros on the Wii U, you mean? Uh Jailbreak. Doing a rash ram. Guys, if you aren't in this group. Hop in on the rest ram. I need to get a rest ram at some point, so I could be convinced to run a rest ram tonight, perhaps. <laughs> um, there's the friend safari that got got affected. You mean like you can't add people as friends anymore, right? Is what you're saying? Um, the nice thing is, is you can still add people as friends for friend safari it just has to be in person now you can't do it online but i think it would be kind of cool i've kind of thought about this maybe the next time there is a big video game or like anime convention in my area i was kind of thinking about maybe having a panel that is like 3ds friend code sharing or something like that like have people bring their 3ds's in 
and it'll be like a bunch of people who all obviously have 3DSs. They can add each other, get friend safaris, and, you know, maybe trade or do any other things that they need that are no longer available online. I think it'd be kind of cool. Have a little, like, a little group of homies. <laughs> um... A lot of new players don't care for bank. There's no way Game Freak will lose money over that. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how like how much infrastructure is around all that, but it's definitely got to be something, <laughs> right? Like I I do network and security stuff for a living, so it's there's always a cost. But hopefully they keep it up for a while longer still, because I know a lot of people are still trying to finish some shiny hunts, but. I feel like people will always be trying to finish shiny hunts, right? Like, there's never a perfect time for it. Uh, don't have an online membership. You hate to see it. Yeah. The nice thing about single-player DAs is you at least don't have to have the animations on. So you get you get a perk in that sense. <laughs> uh, assume they might update Pokemon Bank to allow uh, in-person, like, regular trading in games. Um, Inquisitor celebrates eight months of membership, Inquisitor, hoping to finish you. the baby burp shed this weekend. Mm. Uh, well, enjoy. Don't don't get bonked in the head like you did last time, though. Okay, wait until it isn't windy, and then then build the the coop. <laughs> um, it seems like. I made a really good choice in regards to not putting any video games on the list right now. So, so many peoples and gamers are confirming it with so many going back. Woot. What you talking about, AJ? <laughs> uh, gonna, gonna hop out for sleep, bully. Enjoy. It's, it's important. I'm not gonna fault you on that. I appreciate you hanging out. Uh, couldn't they just keep bank going? It's not really fair. I mean... Now it's free for everybody. I, at the end of the day, you know, Game Freak and Nintendo, their business, they have to be getting something out of it. They're not just doing any of this out of the goodness of their hearts. They're doing it for the dollary dues. That's just how it goes. But I don't know that it's a huge expense for them. So, I, you know, maybe... To, till the end of the year, something like that. I think that when they do announce it, it'll be a pretty far off date, kind of like with the Nintendo 3DS stuff. Because they gave a pretty good amount of time, I think. Like all things considered, right? Can I do a fake tears? I probably should. We're going to do a fake tears. Calma has fake digital money now. Ah, uh, yes. My fake digital dollary dues. Furfru the Electric Monkeys and the Petrat line only mons that haven't been on the Switch yet. Yeah. And they gotta be in Gen 10, right? Or in like PLZA or something. They gotta know. They must be doing something with that. <clears throat> Not me buying Let's Go Pikachu to get the charm on my Let's Go Eevee. Uh, I also did that. <laughs> I also, when I got both of those games, I put an entire, like, living decks for Go specifically together. Because once you transfer to other games, you can't go back to uh, Let's Go. So I have all 151 for Let's Go specifically. Uh, not that I'll ever need to get the charm in a Let's Go game again, but, like, I just, you know, I have to have it. <laughs> uh, let me know when you're ready to do the Reshiram raid. I'm not getting any hits, so I'm going to play Soul Silver. Uh, Jailbreak, I'll let you know. I'm probably going to do a few Thunderous, a couple of things, but um, are you in the Discord, Jailbreak? I'm assuming you are. <laughs> Hassan Malik celebrates three months of membership. Got that Baja Blast. Now it's time for you to get your Baja Shiny. I like that. <laughs> Hassan, I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, if you weren't here earlier, we have uh, the read out messages. Brian's doing some overtime these days. Oh, God. This kind of does some damage, guys. I'm a little concerned. Greedent, use Max Guard this time. <laughs> um. <clears throat> What was I going to say? 
if they close bank, uh, they'll e they easily could port the other Pokemon games to Switch. I hope they will. I'm a little concerned that they might not, though. What's collecting? Not a lot right now. But we're we're getting going. Um, <laughs> Calm, do you golf? I was out in Scottsdale and played a course called Auction 110 Sand Traps, and I found every one of them. I don't golf. <laughs> I don't any any sport related things on the outside. I'm usually just not outside. It is basically how it goes for me. Pseudo Wudo, sixty nine dimes. Cents from Pseudo Dom, sixty nine dimes. <laughs> I appreciate you and your sixty nine dimes. Um, yeah. Let, let's go ahead and give that a like. Boom. All right, guys, this is our seventh and eighth DA since the last shiny. No Galvantula, no Nidoqueen, no Ice Cream Cone, no Thunderous. Again, I'm not, I'm going to have to check the summary on this every time because I really do not know that I'll be able to spot this. <laughs> I don't trust Ceiling Cat with a gifty as well, guys. If you're the, the lucky recipient of that gifty, Say thanks to Sudowoodo. Get some pay buttons out there. Show some love. <clears throat> um, Shiny Swellow. In what game? Shiny Swellow is really good. I Back in the day, Shiny Taylo was your boy's first Shiny, so I have a, a sweet spot for it. A soft spot, some might say. Not a sweet spot. <laughs> um... Once every Mon can be obtained on the Switch, I think they will close bank. Yeah, I could maybe see that being a thing. And oh, Mel, the thing I, I was going to reply to and then I got sidetracked was the Mew, I got it from Go. And those can be transferred to and from Let's Go as long as you don't transfer them to another game. So, because I never, I have the Pokeball controller, but I, it didn't have the Mew in it. I bought it after the fact. Vlad Shorts with the Light Goal 169, are we at 100? Are we good to go on this? I'll pin one up. Vlad, I trust you. I'm going to pin it up. I appreciate you guys liking the stream. If you haven't liked it yet, just think about it. Help you boy out. Um, Thunderous. Number three. If you guys were in the last one, please don't join back to back. But everybody else, get in here. Now's your time. The code 8888-5569. A spicy code. I forget who used this code. Was it? It was Cujo, I think. <laughs> uh, already I'm gone, Jess MS, you hate to see it. That's the problem with getting in so early. People just pop off with these light goals. <laughs> uh, bank shutting down, close off seven gens of Pokemon. It's shutting down would be five times worse than <laughs> what it... <laughs> I think these two things might be a little different, but you know, we all have different, um, <laughs> different priorities. <laughs> hey, Cryogonal is pretty good. We actually have a squad here. We can just take the easy path. Sudowoodo, I appreciate you. Probably not here for long. Uh, just wanted to take a dono dump and dash. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, I think. <laughs> um, I don't know where the heck I want to go. You know what? Somebody was saying it was Ray's. Let's go right. Somebody was saying we were going to get a shiny Armaldo tonight. I'm pretty sure it was Ray's that made that guess. I'm just saying. The pseudo on that D3, there it is. The dump and dash. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna just cruise through this. I would like to check that Armaldo though, because somebody made this guess. I did not make that guess. Who was it? Was it Jess? You were also in on this talk. I can't remember who said it. Somebody said shiny Armaldo though. And I'm sorry that I, I do not remember exactly who said it right now. <laughs> Again, this is a me problem. That was pseudo. Pseudo, was it? Uh, well, pseudo. Pseudo pops into the chat. Uh, they they predicted the shiny Armaldo earlier today. This might be a sign. 
And I would like to get a shiny Armaldo, so I'd be down. I don't exist to Calm's brain sometimes. Eh, you know. <laughs> it was the dump and dash. <laughs> it was... That was it. That's what, uh... I'm just trying to mentally block it out. <laughs> I appreciate you, buddy. I said Tyrantrum. We haven't seen one yet. I, I still would love to see a Tyrantrum. I do try my best. My best is not fantastic, <laughs> but but it is my best. You can't bring Mew into Let's Go Pikachu Eevee. I really. Um, I I can't remember if I transferred it to Let's Go Pikachu Pikachu and Eevee, but I have it in the boxes for Let's Go. I didn't need it for the charm, so maybe I never transferred it. Maybe I just put it in the boxes and I was like, yep, this goes with all this. Maybe that's what I did. Um, why can't you transfer Muta? Let's go. Is it just the one just the one from Go, right? Because there was definitely one that was on the Pokeball for it. Hmm. Uh watching the Sun and Moon anime for the first time and 40 episodes in, I really like it, dude. Hassan, the Sun and Moon anime is so slept on. People really were not down with the art style, but I love the change in art style in Sun and Moon. I love that they went a little crazy with it. Uh, the people who don't like the art style, you know who you are. Pretty weak. That's all. I'm just going to say it's an L take. It was cool. <laughs> Let's go is weird. Yes, it is. It is, in fact, very weird. It's so dumb. You can only get it with the controller. It sucks because I have the controller. Three I just didn't buy it new. Pseudodont. Pseudodont. Reverberating fart. <laughs> dot. <laughs> Why did he do the dot at the end? <laughs> he cut the fart and he said, dot. <laughs> uh... Pseudo Wudon, I appreciate that. Anything with a fart with extra reverb is a, a good super chat in my book. I appreciate you, buddy. I'm just going to do a max knuckle. We're going to go super strong. Started watching the X and Y anime, and I was sick once, and the show made it worse and gave me a headache. So you don't like the X and Y anime is what I'm hearing. You better not let Pseudo Wudo hear that because they've been really trying to talk me into watching that. <laughs> um, is Sun and Moon season the Alolan seasons? Those are my favorite, Mel, yeah. Sun and Moon is Alola. And the, the style is just... It, it's never really replicated again. They went a little crazy with it. And people showed that they weren't ready for this fantastic new art style. And then they kind of pulled back. Which is, it's sad. Because it was really cool and endearing. <laughs> um, want to watch it, but they took it off of Netflix in Canada. Uh, the Alola or the X and Y? Um, I'm pretty sure I was watching X and Y on Hulu? I think? I think X, Y, and X, Y, Z were on Hulu. I'm pretty sure, but I don't know how, like the difference between good old Canada. <laughs> um, two shiny guzzlords in Pokemon Go. I'm assuming you can't blame your headaches on the X X Goat Z series. There it is. We have a lot of X Y Z believers in here. Septile fan, welcome in, by the way. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I watched it on Pokemon TV. They got rid of that, right? I'm pretty sure they got rid of the service. Haven't watched the anime since the Hoenn era. I keep meaning to go back and watch it. Yeah, Hoenn anime is when I stopped watching for a long time, too. I didn't pick it back up until I started streaming again. So I watched seasons like... All the way through the Johto stuff. And then once it got to Hoenn, I feel like there was a very sharp, like, drop in quality. The art style got ugly. Um, 
people might get mad about that. The art style in Hoenn and like moving forward for a while, I, it just felt so generic to me. So it kind of lost my interest. It didn't have the same like vibe with the writing and stuff too. So I kind of stepped away and then I got back into it. Um, I guess Journeys when I was streaming and then I kind of went back. I watched Alola and I've been kind of working my way backwards with it. Uh, 7,000 resets on Mewtwo in Radical Red. Are you sure that isn't shiny locked? Because that's like over 10 times over odds. And that's not really like realistic very often. Unless you're Z-Toxic. <laughs> In which case, it happens unfortunately. I'm going to swap x Plout, I think. He's like our worst thing right now. Uh, Diamond and Pearl is my third favorite season. Best battles, really. Um, I haven't felt like I've had a lot of people mention the Diamond and Pearl anime specifically. I think let's just go Emolga here because we just blast this thing. We just blast through Emolga and then we're, we're good to go. My family and I competed in the Pokemon Jeopardy. I ended up winning and getting to keep my Pokemon fraud name tag. You'd love to see it. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how good I would do in Pokemon Jeopardy. Probably not great. I'm glad we have some smart, pokey people in here, though, because I need your guys' help when I have questions. And I can't Google while I'm streaming, so... You guys are the folks that I want to have in here. <laughs> um, Diamond and Pearl was so good because of the contests and the battles. Um, Dawn was doing contests, I guess, right? You know, in Journeys, it, it like, do you guys like Journeys? What's the consensus on Journeys? I feel like a lot of people probably like it because, um, is Armaldo faster than Diggersby? I'm going to do Stomping Tantrum, assuming that SmackDown's going to go first. I hope. But yeah, Journeys goes back to like, it just basically has call-outs to all of the old anime seasons. You have an episode with Serena and Dawn, and right? Uh, Journeys was really cool. I really like Journeys. And whatever the, you know, all of the, like, Gen 8 anime, I guess. I think it changed at one point the name of it. Journeys, and then... Was it something else? Did they change? Oh, my God. Why did that Amolga do so much damage? <laughs> Uh, Journeys is good, right behind Diamond and Pearl for me. So, fourth favorite anime, then, is what I'm hearing here. Yeah, that just bopped you. I don't know what the heck happened. Yeah. I, I was preemptively doing that ground attack because of SmackDown. I don't think it's going to work out for us. <laughs> journeys and Master Journeys. There you go. So, both of the journeys. They're both still just journeys. Um, you know what I did like was the new Scarlet and Violet anime, too. I wasn't really sure, because I've never been, like, super emotionally attached to Ash being the main character, but, uh, I, w I still wasn't sure if it was gonna be good or not, you know? So, I, uh, was, I was happily surprised that it, it was okay. It's just Fue Coco sounds like not good. <laughs> it's weird to complain about a Pokemon's voice actor, but he really just does not sound how I want him to sound. <laughs> so he's losing me a little bit. Didn't watch Journeys, uh, but it just didn't feel like the past animes. Um, yeah, well, I kind of think that's maybe the reason that I kind of liked it, because... In Journeys, it isn't just like they're going and they're fighting a million gyms, just like always, and doing this whole adventure to do that. Like, I get that that's how most of the other games were. But this one was cool because it's like, oh, we're in Hoenn today. Here's a bunch of Hoenn Pokemon, and here's the Hoenn anime characters. And then, oh, we're going to Galar today. And then you see a bunch of stuff. Like, there's a lot of variety. I like that. <coughs> Do I change out? I can't change out Diggersby. He's just got to gotta deal with it here, I think. Jacob, welcome in. 
Haven't heard Fue Coco in the dub, but he isn't that good in the sub either. A lot of times they don't redub the Pokemon. Like uh, Charizard in that, I know for sure is still the Japanese one, because he's like... In, in Japanese, his name is Lizardon, which is pretty sweet. But uh, you can hear in all of his Charizard grunts, he goes, Lizard! <laughs> <Come on. laughs> he, he doesn't sound like Yoda. He actually sounds like a Charizard, but you know what I mean, right? You can tell that he's saying Lizardon in uh, Charizard voice. Uh... <laughs> Serena cutting her hair is what I meant. Such an emotional moment. Uh, I haven't watched it. Although I did, I have seen the, like, the change between her short hair and long hair. I don't know the, uh, the, the anime moment for it, though. I'm assuming it's like a first step and moving forward kind of thing, right? Right? Uh, Emotional wreckage every time. I I have to watch it. I just <laughs> I think the um the X and Y anime is like the one I'm most interested in watching next. So and I'm like part way through it already. I'm at the point where his Froki is evolved into a Frogadier. And I don't know exactly how much is left after that, but like the thing I remember last was him doing like ninja training with the Frogadier guy. And I can't remember much else. Dude, he paralyzed two of us. Oh, God. Should I Stone Edge or should I just get a quick attack in? Diggersby might just die here. I almost feel like maybe quick attack is the way to just get some cheeky damage. And then the other guys will clean up. Yeah, it didn't do that much, but I... Oh, God. Okay, we just... We're fine. We're fine. Calm will use any excuse. I will, in fact... No, not... <laughs> I just... Man, I am so... I just don't got the time, man. For all these shows. I Shogun is not something that I'm actively avoiding. Let me just be clear here. I am... At a point where the show that we're watching is Freerin, not Freerin, Delicious in Dungeon. It's an animu. We've been watching that. We're almost caught up on it. After that is when we have to make the executive decision on what to watch next. There is a new anime called Go Go Loser Rangers that looked pretty interesting. That was on my short list, but it's just, it's always changing, man. I got. 10 shows always on my list it's impossible and the thing is is the x and y pokemon anime is so friggin long it is very hard for me to commit i could maybe watch it going to sleep but i won't really have a lot of like won't really remember what was going on you know guys this is da 9 and 10 since our last shiny we're getting close to odds dungeon meshy exactly which is just dungeon meal. For some reason, they decided to call it delicious in dungeon in English. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. DA 9 and 10. No Halucha. No Armaldo. That's too bad. The Pseudo Wudo. Maybe later. No Emolga. No Thunderous. I don't think either of these are shiny, but I am looking. I just, I have to look. I don't know. Here we go. Uh, really want shiny Zerkatry. Colin got it. <laughs> Didn't think I did at first. So happy I cheached the summary. You checked the summary. <laughs> I'm glad somebody got something tonight. It's a good thing. Um. Hmm. Hmm. What do I want to run? You know, we could run that Reshiram that Jailbreak was talking about. Jailbreak, you run. You want to host a Reshiram? Bye Bye Butterfree is mid in comparison to Stoutland passing away. Bye Bye Butterfree was the first Pokemon to go away, though. And I was just a little impressionable youth at the time. <laughs> um, 
Loved the anime as a kid, but I struggle to find anime shows that look interesting as an adult. I get it. Yeah, it's hard to commit for me. Thunderous again, please. Um, I will be doing more Thunderous tonight, but we're kind of shaking things up a little bit. Bye Bye Butterfree is so sad. I would agree. Let's do a clown. A ho oh, You know what? We got Lugia last time. Maybe we do try to get the ho oh. I like the sound of that. We'll do a ho oh. Here we go. Big money. The Butterfree episode wrecked me as a kid. Dude, I'd cry to it today. <laughs> I don't have to be an impressionable youth. I just happened to be one at that time. All right. Ho oh. Guys, if you were on the last one, please don't join back to back. Everybody else, now's your time. I didn't see jailbreak. So we'll we'll just try to sync up later. The code 8888-5500 is the code for HOO. Um HOO, rock, water and electric. It's what we're looking for. Specifically rock cuz it's quad super. It's the name of the game. I'm older than Pokemon, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Beyblade. We are getting old. I am already old. I'm already there. <laughs> it's a problem. <clears throat> it was sad, but I couldn't stop thinking that Pink Butterfree don't exist. Such a hater. Oh my god, we have an amazing team, dude. Got another Lycan Rock and the Passimian with Rock Tomb. We have every Pokemon we have has Rock moves. Almost every Pokemon we have has, has Rock moves. <laughs> I get not wanting that. Dude, there's a Cray Dilly there too. Uh, we can't go Cray Dilly though. We are all weak to Cray Dilly. Oh my god, that Garboder is a scary prospect. We just take easy path up here. I think we go right. Because that Cray Dilly demolishes us with Energy Ball. As much as I would like to get that shiny. Do you think it's faster to hunt a legendary in DAs or do soft resets in Ultra Sun Wormholes? Uh, I don't know how long Ultra Sun Wormhole soft resets are. It's probably faster in that if you have the charm though, honestly. There's some things you can't get in that though. You can't get all of the Gen 7 stuff. And I don't think you can get Zygarde in Sun and Moon, can you? I think this was the first game you could shiny hunt Zygarde in. Right? Am I crazy on that? <clears throat> They're extremely quick resets? Yeah, I mean, it's probably just going to be faster overall to... Um... Special defense down. All right, all right, all right, all right. Guess we'll just Razor Shell. Wormhole soft resets are honestly really fast in comparison to, say, Rowlet or Switch resets. Yeah. So if, <clears throat> let's just say they're like 15 seconds each, right? That means you get four resets a minute. How many minutes is a, a DA? 15, 20, right? Let's, let's just say 15 for easy math. So what? In 15 minutes you would get four times that many resets, right? So like 60? 60 per 15 minutes. So you'd be getting about 240 resets an hour and your odds are 1365. It's not too bad, a few hours. The thing is, is like with those shiny hunts, you're only seeing the legendary with this you're seeing a bunch of pokemon if you don't necessarily just care about the legendary these are kind of better because you're casting a bit of a wider net right because your odds are they're still one in 100 but you have four checks every da so in four hours of doing these versus four hours of doing just the soft resets and ultra sun and moon i feel like you have a better chance of getting something right Mel, we'll see you around. Thanks for hanging out. We're going to prove to you one of these days that Pink Butterfree exists. <laughs> There's like 190 episodes of Dragon Ball and close to 300 of DBZ. Yeah. Dragon Ball is fantastic. And um, it sucks because I really only want to watch the dub. 
That's one of the few animes that I have to watch the dub for. But um, it's just, I have so much nostalgia for the English dub, and it's good. <laughs> I just, I can't watch the Japanese anymore. I've been changed. Um, how many people are going to have the shiny charm while hunting the legendaries and wormholes? Um, mm, 4K, you think? I don't know. I would think that most people would have the charm if they were doing those hunts. But I don't know. I I assumed most people that were doing shiny hunting had the charm. But, you know, getting the charm in Ultra Sun and Moon, did you have to get the full national decks or did you just have to get the Alola decks? Which I'm assuming is like 400-ish. It's been a while since I've had to do that. <laughs> Leftovers is better than Shell Bell. Yeah. You don't have to do damage to, to get it to happen. Uh, love Kid Goku's voice in the English but English dub. Shame the voice actress was like arrested. What? <laughs> That's a thing. I have not heard that before. But uh, you know, uh, I can I can separate Goku from the the crazy person behind the voice. That's what I'm gonna do. And just block that out. I didn't hear that. Uh, full Alola Dex, which is 400. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, it's just like Sword and Shield. Let's just do Excel Gore. We're just going to blast this thing. We have tons of rock moves. And this is a very good shiny. Weren't there like pink Pokemon in one episode because of some berry? Yeah. Yeah, there's that one where it was like, it was in Orange Islands, right? There was like the, uh, the pink Rhyhorn and... Just a bunch of stuff. I remember the episode you're talking about. Uh, what headphones do you wear on stream? You wear those for like four to five hour streams and I have never hear you complain about ear pain. Uh, James, they are... I'm not sponsored by you, Sony, but maybe you should hook me up. WF-1000XM4 wireless earbuds. They're like noise-canceling earbud things bluetooth and uh they're not bad i mean i definitely do have after a four or five hour streams like i think wearing anything in your ears for extended periods of time like that uh it, our ears just ain't meant for it they, they ain't meant for the earbuds but i've gotten used to it it's not too bad they're like as comfortable as they can be <laughs> Um, <clears throat> you'd have to have two switch switches for regionals is all for regionals. Mm. Oh, three. You mean for the the ultra sun and moon stuff, right? Uh, but the regionals. What do you mean regionals? <laughs> like trading the the version exclusives is what is what you mean, right? I'm assuming. Can easily separate the art from the artist as well. Yeah that's the thing is you've got to a lot of people get burned out on certain things and I get like not wanting to financially support somebody if they're doing something like sketchy like that but when it's when it's a whole team of people coming together making something cool and one person is just kind of a loser that just I'm not gonna let that kill the vibe for me you know <laughs> noise canceling is probably my favorite modern comfort um you know, the earbuds, I'm kind of surprised how uh, not <laughs> noise canceled it is. I'm going to go left. Uh, I bought these for my trip to Japan, and I use them on stream a lot. They ended up being a really cool stream purchase as well. I didn't used to use headphones at all, but when Brian would talk and come out of my computer speakers, the mic would pick it up occasionally. So I decided to just start using them here too. So it ended up being a good stream purchase. But I bought them for the plane, and the I guess that's kind of just the worst-case scenario. Just a very loud plane and people, like, shuffling around all the time. You can definitely still hear some things. I'm not sure if, like, over-the-ear headphones with noise canceling would be better or not. I would assume so, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> Have an old copy of Ultra Sun, but no moon. Can't get the charm anymore. Uh, Tyler. You can get it if you find some homies IRL. 
that's that's basically it uh or get a copy of moon it's really cheap right now now's the time guys to buy 3ds games because they are not expensive yet not like these stupid this 200 dollar cartridge here this is ridiculous that this is 200 dollars. that's stupid regular moon is i think like 15 bucks dude i got it in japan for like five dollars though and japanese copies can be played in english find a japanese copy super cheap the sony over ears are really good yeah i just i don't want a, a gamer dent <laughs> I, I don't want the dent on my head it freaks me out uh use over the ear headphones for noise canceling uh never liked in ear made flights when 10 not 1000 10000 percent better that's even more better should i go dusk ball i'm gonna go dusk ball um separate the art from the artist is very situational like certain things um some things if you support them i'm side-eyeing you no i got you there's some things where it's a very direct like it, it's tough right like there are things like what this one voice actor did i don't know what necessarily but is that going to kill all of dragon ball for me probably not It'll probably be like, man, that's a bummer that that person sucked. But it's not like I'm never watching Dragon Ball again to give them any of my stream bucks. <laughs> uh, calm for next Sony Spider-Man? No, I, I'm not physically capable. <laughs> hmm. As a proud owner of the Sony XM5... They are literally the best over-ear headphones. Yeah, I'm just afraid of the gamer dent, dude. Hassan with the 10 gifties, buddy. I appreciate you. Um, it would be cool to get the Ho-Oh. We have Lugia. This would mean we're done with all the Gen 2 birds if we get this. Um, Hassan, I appreciate you, buddy. Guys, if you got one of those gifties, please say thanks to Hassan. And uh, everybody else, throw out a pay button. Or maybe an avatar. The avatar is in the emotes, so that's Hassan's. <laughs> Show some love and make sure you guys are opted in. Exclamation gift in the chat. Uh, rock things. Um, yeah, Skuma. I mean, obviously, I would prefer that they wouldn't have any of those. <laughs> that is not something that your boy supports at all. But... You know, I, I don't know that that's going to cancel my my like for all of Dragon Ball over that. You know, it sucks that they're having issues like that. But, dude, people in movies and just the business, it's a different world, man. People are doing all kinds of crazy junk. You see the, the documentaries and stuff. It is bananas. So you got to pick your poison on what you're going to decide to really make big changes on is all I'm saying there. Look at look at all those avatars. <laughs> um, yeah, Froggy, I got you. <laughs> yeah, Froggy, probably better not to have the drama. But I I get what you mean. There's definitely some things that it's like, yeah, that's gonna be a pass for me. And we all have to make our own kind of decisions on that, right? We have to. We all have our own lines that once they're crossed, it's like, yeah, I'm done. I'm good. But I, I respect that whatever your direction is on that. You know, we all we all gotta make our own decisions. Wasn't the old Dragon Ball episodes unhinged? Um no, it was cool. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> was gonna hunt Ray Ray in Pokemon Ultra Moon, but I don't have Groudon and Kyogre. Uh you have to hunt them first to do Ray Ray? Is that how that goes? Yeah, May. I that's definitely one of like the main ones, and I get that because that's kind of like her brainchild that she's getting a lot of dollary dues off of. So I don't necessarily fault anybody for <laughs> for that, right? Uh, that's definitely one of the main ones I was thinking about. Can you play Japanese games on the USA 3DS? Yeah, they're region free, and you can play them in English. So. 
it's uh it's the way to do it they're so cheap in japan dude all of the ds and 3ds games well honestly everything is super cheap compared to here in japan but um the like sun and moon games were like a thousand yen 1500 yen each which is like nothing it's like seven dollars six dollars uh guys 11th and 12th da since our last shiny here we go no garboder no excelgore no swoobat no ho -Oh. you hate to see it moving right along <laughs> Uh, help me, I'm on check 406 for this ugly clown. Should I go up to 420 tonight, or do you think I should a soft reset hunt in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon for Rowlet? Is that really what you want to do? You want to go from craziness to extra craziness? Here, Hassan, I got you. Let's do a Blacephalon. We'll get it right now for you. How about that? We'll do a quick Blacephalon check for Hassan. Hassan, I'm going to send you a code in Discord. Just be ready. Get over here. Let's do this. This is for, for the homie. We got to help him out. Um, hi. I'm going to send a code to Hassan. Not that I don't trust you guys. But, uh, yeah. It's This is a hot commodity, these DA streams. Um, Hassan. I have it up. It's posted. Get in here. Let's get you this, uh, I almost said Rowlet, this Blacephalon. <laughs> um, <clears throat> recently watched the first season of Dragon Ball for the first time, and it was interesting. Peter, what you mean? Why are you talking smack? <laughs> Shocked at how raunchy it is. Um, yeah... <laughs> I guess it, it was a very different time, wasn't it? <laughs> it? It was, what was it? It was in the 80s or something. It it was a little weird. I get what you're saying. Watching it now without any context of any of that, I could see how people would be a little like, mm, oh no, I'm not ready, Avatar. Hassan, you hate to see it. How, how long are you going to be? <laughs> um... There you go, dude. Jose, enjoy. Um, yeah. We're back. We should be back. Existence is pain. It was back for a sec. No, we're back. We're back. We're back. <laughs> um hey Hassan are you ready yet if not it's all good I'll just run a thunderous or something in the meantime uh it sucks because I know for sure it is YouTube and not this because none of my games disconnect nothing else disconnects it's just YouTube um yeah it's a bummer my wife is in here. My wife says she's feeling evil. How so? Oh. Existence is pain. Have I have I told you guys this before? That existence is pain? <laughs> it's okay. The, uh, the viewer council dip for a minute. It's just people refreshing and stuff. We good. I don't see chats. <laughs> what y'all talking about? Uh, just existence being pain, you know. <laughs> With only 18 viewers, you love to see it. What can you do? Um, yeah, we're back to our roots. This is like when I started streaming. <laughs> Um, you know, we'll give people a minute to pop back in. If we have another disconnect, I might just call it for tonight. If the internet is so bad that we cannot function, 
it's probably not worth it. But, um, Hassan, are you good for a uh, Blacephalon? Yeah? Let me know. Dual hunting hip on top and ditto in between joining your DAs. You'll love to see it. 19 people is crazy. Yeah. I, honestly, 19 people is pretty good for a stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's tough to get viewers especially in the beginning so 19 was a, a popular time it was a, a good time for your boy might be a dumb question but if I have bank and home can I send the version mons I need backwards no can't go backwards my brother read my message I am ready uh, oh I just picked thunders Hassan I'm gonna use that same code just be ready to enter it we're going to do it. I there's been a lot going on. Don't don't do this to me, Hassan. Guys, don't snipe this. If Hassan doesn't get in here, I'm going to reset. So don't be playing any games. I'm taking advantage of the 19 people right now. And guys, if you were on the last one, please don't join back to back. Hassan. All right. The code 66995588. We're going to get Hassan and myself a shiny Blacephalon. Get in here. This is the time. Think your Wi-Fi is mad at you for all the usage you've been giving it daily massages. What? <laughs> um, no, it's fine. JessMS, we're we're fine where we're at. I'm not stressing it. We're we're gonna live our life. Uh, ghost rock fire no ghost rock ground water dark i think that's it this thing has zero defense so if we have a couple of attackers we already win and that we do so we just take the easy path this is gonna be fine fine will you do another ho-oh later yeah i mean the thing is is i always have a specific target that's like our main thing for da night but um it's never the only thing we're doing right we're always changing it up i think we might go cling clang here yeah i'm gonna go left and neither of them are like crazy crazy like sand slash would be fine for um for blacephalon but we don't really need attackers anymore so let's just take the easy way uh, you sure you don't need that thing to be checked? What what thing? <laughs> Can I see the turt, please, sire? HC, you're talking about that that turt. There was a dog tail in that video there too. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Denzel, you got the uh, the the ho o path. All right, I'm glad I could help. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> um hmm, hmm we'll just lower special defense i won't do too many crazy things here it smells weird in here like my dog came in here and farted and crop dusted me walked away <laughs> what happened with a with a db thingamajig a db what you talking about shirk was talking about the Wi-Fi, but thanks for the turt. <laughs> I don't know what you mean then. <laughs> Shadow Mike, welcome in. I despise Kling Kling, but I just can't say no to that cute face. Thing's gross. Doesn't have a cute face. I, I don't get it. I don't know if one of my dogs walked in here and I'm concerned that somebody had an accident in the house. It It's stonk in here right now. And maybe it's just me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> no, that lost package thing has it, it is not your fault, Ray's. I'm convinced this is all USPS's fault. They were just so uh, not cool about handling it too. So, like I said, I'm probably going to be changing up how my P.O. Box deal is set up because, like, it was a joke when I was talking with him. He was, like, the head guy. 
at the office too. He was the guy that ran the whole post office. And he was just like, <laughs> he could not care less, dude. He was just like, get out of here. Um, I forgot to congratulate you on all the Sword and Shield shinies this week. Yeah, I had a lot of shinies this week. Kling Kling looks like it lives in eternal pain. It does, in fact. Um, blaming me. I was not blaming anybody. I was just asking questions. <laughs> Evelyn, welcome in. <clears throat> I'll fly out to AZ and slap the bleep out of that man. Um, probably not worth the time. <laughs> USPS can really suck. Uh, lost some birds due to someone taking them home or releasing them. I, dude, I just do not get it, man. Like, basically, what I ended up doing was sending a letter to the person because they know who they delivered it to accidentally, but they won't, like, try to get it back or do anything about it. They're just basically like, yeah, eat it. Is, is what they said so um yeah so i sent a message to the p.o box that i know for sure got it i'm just like hey can you give me that thing back it's not like it doesn't have monetary value to you but it has sentimental value to your boy so maybe they'll listen to reason hopefully they're not scumbags we'll see we shall see. Do you hear the kitty? I'm surprised you can hear the kitty, but there is a cat meowing in the background. There is, in fact. Uh, not sure when the membership was up. Yeah, I mean, if you got a gifty or something, it kind of is uh, a little random sometimes, right? It's every 30 days, so it's all good. Don't stress it. Uh, they blamed UPS because they use their planes. Nah, dude. If I'm not trusting anybody in that mix, it is always USPS. They are inept. They're the worst. And I'm honestly at the point where I, like, I would rather not give them any money <laughs> and pay, like, a little bit more to just ship stuff through US or through UPS. I'm going to have a P.O. box there, and I'm probably just going to try to do all of my shipments through there. I get labels, like, discounted anyways, and it's not that much more for UPS usually. So, I'm kind of at that point where I'm just like, I'm done with you guys. I'm not contributing any money to your guys' deal of being terrible at your jobs is basically where I'm at. <laughs> um, always remember that the front-facing baby chick is here. Exactly. A ship station? I use pirate ship, but, you know, similar deal, right? I'm calling it. You're going to get the shiny in the next DA. I hope you're right. I'm, I'd be down. <laughs> uh, kitty cam, please. I do not have a an animal cam. I don't think it would be a bad idea. I just don't know where it would hook it up. Who's eating? It would be the cow who is eating right now. Hassan with the five gifties, buddy. I appreciate you. You're doing the avatar's work here. Let Brian loose on some USPS people. He's a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> Guys, if you got one of those gifties, please make sure to say thanks to Ol Hassan. Helping the homies out, as usual. Uh, and everybody else, exclamation gift in the chat. Make sure you're opted in. And uh, get some avatars in the chat. Maybe a pay button. Finally, I'm green. You'll love to see it. Uh, glitchy. Post a code for that Ray Ray in the chat. I don't mind you guys doing that. And that goes for anybody. If you have a specific DA that you're trying to run and you're not in the stream one, post a code. I do not mind. The only thing is please do not have a bunch of like team communication in the chat because it is very confusing for you, boy. That's the only thing. But feel free to post codes. Uh, glitchy, just say Ray Ray and then the code and I know there's people that are down for that <laughs> God Kieran welcome in I'm gonna head out HC we'll see you around I guess <laughs> uh, wasn't gifted but thanks anyway no bark I appreciate that appreciating the homies that are helping the other homies 
It's important stuff. Inquisitor, I have in fact heard the Jack Black, Britney Spears cover. The man has some pipes, what can I say? He do be singing. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just going to go muscle band. I'm going all in for the damage. <clears throat> this grass Pokemon, my Starmie should have easily destroyed you. Uh, I'm going to go left. There was something up with the timer here. We are going to absolutely blast this Alolan Raichu. And I would really like to get this shiny because this is the only way to get this in this game. Is from DAs. So, it'd be pretty cool to get an Alolan Raichu. This would be a nice consolation prize. Uh, I got poison because of you. No, no, no. It, this had nothing to do with me. That was all you. <laughs> Peaches still slaps, it does in fact. I would kind of like to watch the Mario movie again. I've only seen it once. We watched it in theaters. But um, I'd kind of like to give it another another watch. Because there's a lot of uh, like Easter eggs and stuff in that movie. Um, yeah, you know, they're, they were talking about making another Mario movie, weren't they? They were saying that there's like another one in the works. Jack Black is the best oldish person on earth. <laughs> oldish, huh? That's what he is. <laughs> he is oldish, I guess. Super Potion did a video for the Alolan Raichu, and let's go. Yes. Um, Fun Hunt, I'm not really sure. Is it full odds in Let's Go? I think it is. But, uh, yeah, I saw his video on that, too. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool that you can do the trade shiny hunts, though. And the soft resets in Let's Go are not bad. With the charm and allure, you're at like one in a thousand odds, which is pretty dang good. I had amazing luck in Let's Go for my, uh, like the birds and Mewtwo. It was crazy. They were all way under a thousand. Like way, way, way. Been a while since I caught a stream. Uh, yo bro. How you doing? Glad you could pop in. Hopefully things are going well. We all have things going on, so I'm not stressing it. I get it. I appreciate you popping in, though. Tenacious D, super duper cool. Yeah. I like their stuff. <laughs> um, video games by Tenacious D lives in my playlist rent-free. Tenacious D has some slappers. I like the metal, personally. My, uh, my classic go-to. Initially from the Guitar Hero days got into it a little bit and then just kind of went from there fighting reshram right now i thought it would be terrifying but it's it just got murdered as of the typing it doesn't have any quad weaknesses right i mean it's kind of kind of tough typing fire dragon is actually weird it's rock ground dragon is that it Rock Ground Dragon? That's it, right? Just has three? Um, in Radical Red, they have Chill It, and it can be shiny, and it's pretty good. Chill It. The heck is Chill It? <laughs> um, I have two more weeks of school left. The grind has never been more real. Um, Jacob... I hope all of the school stuff pans out and you're not stressing it too bad. I I get it. Your boy never did any of the like crazy in-depth college stuff though. Surprisingly. <laughs> Maybe not surprisingly for me. Maybe not surprisingly for you guys actually. Maybe it's like, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> I almost said a bad word. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Uh the guy with two brain cells didn't go to college makes sense <laughs> yeah um i just kind of started working right when i started college so that was kind of my deal i got a job in what i wanted to do and i just kind of move forward with it but it depends on what you want to do for a living because dude sometimes they really want that piece of paper it's very important for some jobs you don't want a doctor that doesn't have that piece of paper <laughs> It's kind of scary. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I 
hope I'm around enough to be remembered. I love this community. Jacob, I appreciate you hanging out. And guys, we have a lot of people who are lurking and just silent supporters. I appreciate you guys. Please don't feel like you're not uh, appreciated here, right? I, I know that maybe we aren't talking all the time. We aren't able to see each other super frequently in a, a live setting. But I appreciate you guys hanging out. We have a lot of people who are just kind of doing their thing. And I get that. I'm not holding it against you guys, I promise. I do appreciate all of you guys hanging out, whether you're feeling like chatting or not. <laughs> Sir Shicker. How you doing, dude? Uh, they refuse to move us to the next room yet. Another hour until they they re reassess. I was trying to figure out what that word was. I'm so tired. Uh, Sir Shicker, I hope everything's going well. And send my regards to Ol' Marmsy as well. Congrats, buddy. Hmm. All right. This is our 13th and 14th DA since our last shiny. No Kling Kling. No Roselia. No Raichu, that's too bad. No Blissephalon. Sad times. Moving right along. <clears throat> yeah, Sir Shicker just had a, uh, a not Sir Shicker specifically, but they had a baby. There's a, a mini Sir Shicker running around now, which might be a good thing, might be a bad thing. We're not really sure on that yet. He's pretty happy about it, though. <laughs> the mini Sir Shicker. Also a big fan of Call Misty. It's going to be... Uh, <laughs> it's a genetic thing. Uh, guys, we're going to do another Thunderous, The Code. If you were in the last one, please don't join back to back. The Code for everybody else. 888-5544. <laughs> He's so cute. The guy can't stay still kicking and all. I'm going to have a... Uh... Lot to work with for a while. That I do not, I do not envy the next few weeks. But you know what? I, I get it. The the lack of sleep. Just you guys need to do it in shifts. You know the deal. You got this planned out. Make it happen. Should we have one? Absolutely not. <clears throat> I love the name Rupalkia. By the way. And not for a baby, for a, for a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> um, rock, ice. Is that it? Rock and ice? Yeah, I think it's just rock and ice. Oh, God. <clears throat> Jalissa, no. Uh, Raze, I will do everything in my power to make that not be a thing. It's pretty easy. <laughs> Uh, King Kai, I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, 42069 should be the first name, and Calm should be the middle name. Last should be Misty. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't be memeing. <laughs> uh, gathering eggs for why not? Preferably, preferably male. Good luck. Why not? Hunt for a shiny why not? I've never had one. I do have a shiny Wobbuffet in this game. All right, we have to go the Armaldo again. I'm pretty sure that Crocodile has a rock move, right? Yeah, let's go left. <clears throat> uh, a Calmido, no. Mm -mm. Calmido, no. El Pequeño Calm. I refuse to have any involvement in this. I will not be a part of this whole deal here. He will be a literal demon. I know what I was like as a kid. And I know what my wife is like now. It's, uh, gonna be a demon. <laughs> I do not want to have to deal with that. I want to be able to spend all my Pokemon card money on me. I don't want to have to buy this kid cards. I want to buy all the things for me. I'm a, a very selfish lad, and you know what? I, I don't have the kid yet, so it's fine for me to be selfish. Right? 
as long as I don't, if, if the kid's here, I'm going to have to buy him Pokemon card. I'll do it. I just don't, don't want it to happen. I'm holding out. <laughs> Calm's going to get the Bonkla. Good. Good. Uh, <laughs> baked Voldemort. I, <laughs> that has some, uh, <laughs> you guys have seen the, like, the short or whatever on it, right? <laughs> if you know, you know. It's, I think it's a drive too. He's like, Wah! <laughs> um, wish you the best of shiny luck. I have to go to bed for school. Kenneth, enjoy your sleep. It's all good. I know it's late with like the, the time zone changes and stuff. So do not stress it. I appreciate you hanging out. <laughs> yeah, that has some implications that uh, I don't know if I like. <laughs> But yeah, it's just A-Drive screaming. <laughs> Are you planning on having a kid? Absolutely not. I refuse. My wife keeps bringing it up, though. I'm not dancing that dance. We're not playing that game. I'm buying Pokemon things for me. Video game things for me. I ain't got time for this kid stuff. You guys enjoy your kids. Have fun with that whole deal. It ain't for me. Not for your boy. Uh, when I'm a pharmacist one day, I hope to be a lifetime member. Jacob, I appreciate you. And do not stress, guys, if you ever are, like, in a spot where you can't, like, afford the membership or any of that stuff, please don't feel stressed out about that. Do not have to, like, if you don't have a membership, I'm not hating on you. I appreciate you guys just being around, being a viewer is enough for your boy. So, uh, don't stress it. I would rather you be financially stable than me get an extra $3 a month, you know? <laughs> so I appreciate you just being around. I'm pretty sure Crookedile has a rock move, right? I'm gonna go right. I'm pretty sure it has something. <clears throat> yeah, Ray's... <laughs> <laughs> when I hear A drive, all I think is Elestrals. Elestrals? Elestrals. Yeah, he, he's trying to make his own Pokemon thing. Calm would make his kids shiny hunt for him. Yeah, I'd do what Hassan did. I'd have the little shiny hunting, like, workshop. If I'm gonna have one kid, I might as well have, like, 12 kids. And then I can do like multi shiny hunting i get each of those 12 kids like a 10 times setup i'll buy a bunch of ds's from japan i'll have to get a bunch of copies of the games but you know what you can't beat that efficiency we would have shinies for days dude <laughs> are we all calm's children uh you know what this is fine <laughs> if that's how you want to envision this that's you see, the nice thing about this, completely hands-off from my perspective, you know, I, I make my, that was a pretty good freeze, I make my appearance, you know, three times a week, the kids pay me sometimes, <laughs> it's the perfect situation, if it was like that, I'd, fine, you know, <laughs> calms collected children i don't know if i love the sound of that that sounds a lot more ominous than it should be <laughs> uh, want some eggs calm i've got nine dozen chicken eggs and five dozen assortment what am i gonna do what you're gonna mail eggs don't do that <laughs> um oh in that case i need some money dad nope ten dollars what do you need a dollar for that's the stupid thing. $20? What do you need $5 for? Uh, we need Z to make a new emote of what? Pretty bored of almost everything Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Yeah. Scarlet and Violet have been a little rough. Arcus is boring because I'm still trying to get that stupid male alpha quillfish. Sword and Shield are okay. Sword and Shield have the most things to like... I feel like for me right now, it's the thing I'm most interested in. DAs are really good. I've been doing some Masuda on the side, but I've also been doing some random encounter stuff too while I'm doing Masuda. 
Um, I've kind of thought about doing a random encounter sword and shield target again. I don't know how you guys feel about that. That was, we found a lot of people on YouTube when I was doing the Rookie D hunt, but, uh, I've kind of thought maybe it would be cool to find another target. Calm, adopt me. I refuse. <laughs> but you're welcome to hang out in my stream whenever you'd like. Okay, so it does have a rock move, but it is Sandstorm, which sucks. Sad times. Uh, good old Cornbone. We demand a non-DA stream. You know, I'm not super opposed to it. Is that Sea King, Cedra, Galvantula? I think that's Sea King. Uh, I guess we go Galvantula, because... We can't really... Oh, it was Vaporeon. It's a good thing we didn't go left. <laughs> um, <clears throat> It's been 12 days since I've been in Calm's basement. No, no, no. The, don't, don't read that comment from Spork. Nothing has happened here. <laughs> what if I gave you $5 to adopt me? Mm, not worth 2, it. 2,500 yen from Fuji, Fuji Toby. Toby. Play rock, paper, scissors with wife. And the winner decides on whether to have children or not. I don't... See, here's the thing. Here's the thing about this. For the wife, it's all tee-hee-ha-ha, -ha, have a kid, it, it'll be funny. But for me, I have to pay for all of this. <laughs> it's all on your boy. Plus, I'm just going to tell you guys. I don't know what um, implications this will have on streams. Probably not good, though. Guess what happens on weekends and stuff? kids soccer practices baseball games whatever you know i'm assuming since they're they're me essentially they probably won't be that into sports but you know there's always a chance maybe they'll be playing pokemon cards at events video game turn that's that's more realistic of what they'll probably be doing <laughs> um calm would use the old sims trick lock them in a basement uh so all they can do is shiny hunt there are laws against this, though. <laughs> Some might say it's a problem. Some might say it's a good thing. We, you just have to convince him that it's fun. It's a good time. I have to carry it. Yeah, but then you're then you're done. You know, your your deal is done after that. Your boy has to like move all of his Pokemon card and game money this way. This is the kid here. Has to divert. All of the funds. I ain't living that life. I can't do it. I will not. <laughs> uh, he just want blue ditto. Yeah. I just want blue ditto. Laws are just a suggestion. <laughs> I can't, you know, it's only illegal if you get caught. I guess that's true. What are the laws on shiny? Nobody says anything specifically about shiny hunting. I don't think I've ever seen that in a law. Laws schmaws. <laughs> Hassan, enjoy your sun and moon anime. It's a good time. I wouldn't mind rewatching it at some point, but with the way that my my watch list is adding up, I don't think I'll ever be able to do it. <laughs> that actually is a good uh, target for um going to bed, actually, because I don't really have to pay attention to it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. You keep talking and painting a bonkla target on your back. If if she bonklas me to death, then I don't have to have a kid. I, <laughs> for me, I think that's a fine trade-off. It's not for me. I thought maybe when I was younger that maybe I, I want to and sometimes I think oh it'll be it'll be great you know it'll be nice to have somebody to pass things on to and teach cool skills because your boy is uh is decent at a handful of things uh be cool to be able to pass that on have a bit of a legacy and then I go to the you know target and the kids screaming and That'd be how my kid would be. I guarantee it. Uh, <laughs> couldn't do it. 
Can't do it. I want to be the one screaming in the target. I want to be the one going ballistic. I don't want to have to tell the kid not. Maybe. Here's the other idea. I have a kid. We both go ballistic in target. Maybe that's the the way. <laughs> uh, cozy Corner. A cake chain in Japan is doing a Pokemon collab and selling Pokemon cakes. Hmm. I've never heard of Cozy Corner. Uh, but when we were there, Mr. Donut was doing the Pokemon Donut stuff. Those were pretty good. I'm a big fan of Mr. Donut, the Pondering. Five dollars from Hassan Malik. L plus Hassan, I appreciate ratio you. plus get some Chinese plus you aren't good plus. Yeah. Oh no, Dots. the plus <laughs> and then the dot at the end. <laughs> Hassan, I appreciate the five dollar reduce, but it really hurts when Brian insults me like that. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> Uh, kids desync with parents, to be honest. I guarantee it desync. You think so? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm gonna head out, Flaming Blaze. We'll see you around, buddy. Thanks for hanging. Um, <clears throat> in all seriously, seriousness, though, having kids or not is just one of the toughest conversations in a relationship. You know, here's the thing. When I got married to the wife and everything was going on back in the day, um, we agreed no kids. We're both on the same page. Suddenly, she's just changing her mind. We can't just backtrack on this. That's not how this goes. The deal has been made. It's not happening. No dice. Uh, sent you the Pokemon cake stuff in the Discord. Let's see this. Oh, this is a very large image. Very long image, I should say. Huh. All right. Uh, you know what? This kind of looks like like Poffins almost from the games. I'll show you guys. Let me get this pulled up on stream after we catch this Thunders. Um, here we go. Dive ball. <laughs> Let's see some Pogeyman cakes. Oh, God, my stream really did not like that. Here we go. Here are the Pokemon cakes. I'm going to have to scroll up kind of slowly. Big Pikachu head, a bunch of the cupcakes are what I'm most interested in here. Like, this is fine, but that is just like a big ball of fondant, <laughs> which I don't think I want to eat. But moving right along, the little like Eevee snacks, that's what I'm kind of looking at right here. They look like the, the treats in X and Y, right? The Poffins and stuff, especially the Flareon one. They got little drinks, little like, little bites of cakes. There we go. Look at them. Yeah, I'm a fan. These are what I would be getting here. <laughs> All right. And for <laughs> Vaporeon is a drink is um what is the jolteon thing i'm trying to read this pineapple uh jam total <laughs> what is this what is the jolteon thing <laughs> <laughs> Pineapple jam something. Oh, tropical moose. Yeah, okay, I see it, I see it. I didn't read the <laughs> the whole bottom thing. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. Uh, yeah, Nito, get it out of here. Here we go. DA 15 and 16. Since our last shiny. No Armaldo. Sad times. No Crocodile, that's fine. That's like, you know what? I have Galvantula too. Okay, good. Thunderous. That one at the top right looks kind of darker. I don't know if I believe that it's darker though. Yeah, it isn't. <laughs> it looks kind of different, doesn't it? I'm looking at the purple on the top right one. It looks darker on the top right one. Am I insane? I must be because they they are the same thing, not shiny. 
<laughs> Sad times. Armaldo wiped away my team. Safe to say that Armaldo is on the hit list now. No, 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 no. Armaldo is a homie. Don't do anything to hurt the lad. Um, I know Shiny Thunderous. I can tell. I, I can't, apparently. <laughs> New Minecraft gonna drop. Is that a thing? What you talking about? I was kind of looking at Minecraft recently. It's weird that you mentioned that. Guys, we're doing another Thunderous. If you were in the last one, please don't join back to back. But the code, 8888-5566 for Thunderous. <laughs> Thought it was shiny too. I'm just losing my mind. <laughs> it's kind of tough to see. Um, Rays? Mm, all right. All right, all right. Here we go. Ice and rock and ground actually works too if we end up getting an Armaldo because it has Smackdown. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of tough to get Pokemon that are like good against it, unfortunately. Imagine Minecraft, but everything is triangular instead. That would be mayhem. <laughs> I don't think it would work. I don't want to think about it. The shiny's noticeable, you'll know when. All right, I want to believe. It's just... <laughs> I'm, I'm losing my mind. Uh, I can't tell what that thing... Is. Oh, Lycanroc. All right, we go Lycanroc. Marshtop over there? I think that has Blizzard. Or Swampert, I mean. Let's go right, and then we'll go left, left. Okay, let's go left. Left it is. This is fine, too. <laughs> this isn't bad. I would kind of prefer to have this shiny, actually. And this, I think, has... Rock Slide or something, doesn't it? Yeah, this isn't bad. This has Rock Slide and it has a nice move. Have you gotten shiny Ray Ray yet? Yeah, I have two of them. I got one first DA after I already had my first one. It was just kind of out of nowhere. But you know we take those. 40 Minecraft win. You gotta develop it. Make it happen. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've never really played Minecraft. Like, I have a lot of friends who have played it. And I've played it, like, a tiny bit. But I've never, like, owned it. I've just kind of ran around and just, like, had one or two nights in the game. I never really built anything. I never really like had a server with a bunch of friends or anything. It seems like it would be kind of fun to have a server just with the homies building a big old base and just doing all that. Cause there's so much content now for Minecraft, like in game that I'd be able to play that for years probably and just have a ton of stuff, right? Just so many new things to check out so much stuff going on. The only time I played Minecraft was when I set Force on fire, then I got bored. Fuji Toby is just living a very different life. Was not in it for the calm vibes of Minecraft, was in it for the the pandemonium. Which, you know what? I, that is a valid approach for video games. To, to take out the things that you hopefully are not doing in real life at all. You know? It's an outlet. <laughs> Minecraft v 1.2 probably next week. Um, it's crazy that it's only 1.2. That game has been out for years. <laughs> it seems like they would not have only like 20 little version updates, right? It's been around. When did, when did Minecraft come out? A long time ago. Uh, Chris John is hosting a Ray Ray DA. I know somebody else was looking for a Ray Ray earlier. So, uh, if you're still here, pop in. The code's in the chat. Uh, yeah, I've heard of Pixelmon too for, uh, for Minecraft. I don't know. I think if I played Minecraft, I wouldn't necessarily want it to be a Pokemon game. I think I would just want it to be its own thing. You know? But, uh, it's cool that it has the mods. Like, there's an option. If I 
am done with Minecraft stuff and I'm like, you know what this needs? Shinies. Uh, I guess we just go Flareon. We bopped Flareon. Yeah. Um, do you want me to answer that or should my lawyer? You know, it depends on your answer, I guess. <laughs> uh, bought a gaming laptop specifically for Minecraft. Raises going in on the Minecraft life. <laughs> I've never rage quit a game, but I've seen insane amounts of stuff collapse in Minecraft. Would definitely never play it again if that happened. Yeah, like where they hit the wrong block and it just like <laughs> everything crumbles. I've seen those videos too. <laughs> it's crazy some of the things people make in those games though. Like I've seen the like insane build outs of like entire cities and the solar system and stuff like crazy stuff. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's just like big Legos and there just so happens to be a kind of cool game underneath it too. Or on top of it, some might say. <laughs> Recommend getting into it. Uh, 1.20.5 uh, is coming in the next few weeks. 1.21 in the next two months. So they just are pretty frequently updating it still, huh? Hmm. Been playing Minecraft since 2014. It's been out since before that too, right? Like it has been out for a hot minute. 2011 was the full release. Yeah, that's crazy. That's uh, been a while. <laughs> never got into Minecraft, but I do like it a lot. You like it a lot, but you never got into it. You just like the idea of it. <laughs> just a small Minecraft build video. They are recreating the Milky Way galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes. I like that you can kind of sky's the limit with that, you know? I like that you got the options. <clears throat> Gets a decent size update yearly. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, it's still very played, right? I mean, on every platform, it's just people are playing it on phones and just everything now. Uh... Do I luxury ball this thing? I don't really know what I... We're going to repeat ball it. What irks me about Dynamax is the trainers are in the middle. How does that work? Yeah, no. I uh, I definitely would not be standing in front of any Dynamax Pokemon. Would not be living that life. <laughs> I don't want to get stomped. <clears throat> Loved Minecraft for years now, but we don't talk about the dark ages of 2020 Minecraft YouTube. <laughs> I don't know what was going on then, but uh, I'm going to trust you on that one. Joey, I mean, Oranguru is good if you want to keep it. I'm not going to stress on it, but if you want to swap so we don't get the KO, I think you're probably the only one who might grab this. Otherwise... Whatever. <clears throat> the bug update is yearly, but we often get smaller things sprinkled into the year. Uh, most of the year, you can beta test the new features. Oh, that's cool. So, so all of the things that are kind of leading up for the bigger update, you can get a get a taste test. <laughs> um, the twenty ten. Minecraft YouTube phase. It was a very different time on YouTube in general back then too, and the internet, and the world. <laughs> it was a different time. Okay, here's the deal, guys. We have nothing against that Swampert. I think I'm gonna go to this this Munchlax, because that Swampert is gonna be a problem. I don't even want to deal with that thing. We're fine. We're gonna be able to beat Thunderous. Phone battery's dying. Uh, no name. We'll see, Ron. Thanks for hanging out. Let's just say all the popular people in 2020 belong in actual prison now. Actual prison? <laughs> I, I guess I've been pretty disconnected on uh, the Minecraft YouTube scene. <laughs> actual prison. Everybody that made a Minecraft video in 2020. Actual prison for ye. Um was so young and I was so scared of Herobrine. 
Hero Brian. Is that a, a Minecraft YouTuber? I'm assuming. How are you tonight, DB Studios? I'm doing well. No shinies yet, but we had really good luck the other night, so I'm just we're letting it cook. We are above odds, though. Again, we're uh, no, we're not actually. 25 is what we need to be at for odds. We're half odds, a little over half odds. <laughs> Uh, Hero Brian is a Minecraft creepy pasta. Think Ben drowned only in Minecraft. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um. You know they were cool at the time. I feel like they're a little cringy now, right? That's probably how that is too, right? What do you even? How do you write a Minecraft uh, creepy pasta, and then Minecraft Steve walk into cave? Their scary hissing noise. He explode. Me cry. <laughs> I, I don't know why it's a caveman writing this. <laughs> um, there's a boss blissy raid on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet right now. So you can get a bunch of experience candies. Make it happen if you still need them. Uh, feel like your computer's going to explode. Why? Maybe you should dust it out. Get some uh, some canned air or something. Remember when Sonic.exe was the big topic? Oh, God. <laughs> it was a thing. I do remember, because I'm an old man. You tried to summon him so many times? Minecraft Steve? You tried to summon Minecraft Steve? Come on, Froggy. <laughs> Go into your bathroom. Draw a Minecraft diamond on your on your mirror with lipstick. And say Minecraft Steve three times. And then he pops up and he mines your house. <laughs> Inquisitor, I see. <laughs> uh I see your message. YouTube does not like it, though. It will. It refuses to let that through. I know the meme. It is funny times. <laughs> uh, does anybody remember the dedicated wham? I do, in fact. That uh, that poor kid was just struggling. I get it. I, I wonder if there's a follow up with where he's at. You know, there's got to be. Is Sonic.exe even around anymore? It's, it was on the internet, so yes. If it's on the internet, it is still around, trust me. Ten dollars to make Thongui of the Grand Master Sealing Cat Euroboros. May the light follow in the Grand Master's wake. They are allowing me to stay in the CCI stream at 25% volume. Ah, yes. Trubbish hit the Rotom fan in critical role, so I must stay there <laughs> as well. But, um, I hear. I appreciate you hanging out. I'm sorry to hear that the, the Trubbish is hitting the fan over an old critical role, but, uh, you know, that could be a good thing for you for entertainment's sake anyways. <laughs> but uh, glad we can have you hanging around. Uh, on the Torchic Hunt, how many... <laughs> Was it three? I think we had three for Torchic before we finally got the Torchic. Because we got to that night that we got the Trico, which was insane. We had crazy luck during that Torchic hunt. And then I think we got one more, and then eventually got the Torchic on its own stream, and that was that. Fuji Toby. I'm pretty sure it was three. It might be four. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Uh, the dedicated Wham guy actually streams... <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Is he doing Minecraft? What's he doing? <laughs> so you got the Torchic. Yeah. Um, so you'll pay up. That's, ah, uh, yes. Don't, don't feel stressed about that, buddy. I appreciate you. But the, uh, <laughs> I can't remember where it was at. I remember you made some, some bold claim of for each doggo, right? That's what you were doing. I can't remember the arrangement. <laughs> uh, first day of the tower was undefeated. First day of the tower. Woot. 
DB Studios, DB I appreciate Studios you. DB Studios celebrates nine months of membership. The fog is coming, colon, underscore, calm chair, colon, underscore, calm chair, colon, underscore, calm chair. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The fog is coming. What does this mean? What fog? The guy that made the... The what? <laughs> Shirk, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know what any of those words mean. <laughs> I have no clue. Oh, God, my... Fujitobi, I appreciate you, buddy. Yen from Fujitobi. This Brian's is for gonna the say... Dogs. Front facing baby <laughs> chick. Front facing uh, baby chick. Front Brian facing saying baby piss chick. dogs is a very weird thing to hear. I appreciate it, though. <laughs> um, on the first day of the tower, Santa gave to me an undefeated kingdom. I think this is a bunch of Minecraft stuff I don't get. Weird question, how many DAs would you have to do to be able uh, to be at odds for 1 in 300? Adam, you can count it a couple different ways, right? Uh, because in theory, and these are never guaranteed, right? They're always just odds. You could count it as just the legendary. And you could just say, I've seen 300 of these, I'm at odds for this legendary. But you can also count it how I'm counting it. Well, I'm counting total DAs, but... I'm, I'm counting for all of the Pokemon because I catch four at a time. Your odds aren't aren't exactly... For you, it's kind of weird. It's one in 75 for each Pokemon you catch to be shiny. But for me, it's kind of close to like one in 25 odds. It's not exactly that good. It's a little bit worse than that. But um, realistically, it would probably take 300 encounters of that legendary before you would see it shiny. But during those 300 encounters, you're catching three extra Pokemon during that. So you're getting a lot of encounters for those. Some people just catch the legendary. Don't do that. There's no reason to do that. Just catch everything. <laughs> Guys, this is our 17th and 18th DA since our last shiny. Here we go. No Sand Slash. No Flareon. The one on the left looks a little lighter, but it's not shiny, I don't think. No Munchlax. No Thunderous. Your boy is going to look manually as per usual. Because I don't trust that I will be able to see Thunderous. Moving right along. Uh, Xander. Sorry I haven't been here for a few months. Been in the hospital. Xander, I hope everything's going all right. Do not stress it. Obviously, your, uh, your health and stuff is much more important than goofy shiny hunting streams but i hope everything's going well with you buddy um <clears throat> yeah adam each of those encounters are independent and could be thought of on their own a lot of times what i'm doing is just i'm looking for any shiny right so i'm counting 100 total encounters of pokemon is i'm at odds to see something if you wanted to count it as just the legendary you just count just that one encounter each time. But you will probably get a bunch of things leading up to that point. Because to get 100 or 300 in your case of the Legendary, it is uh, a lot of other Pokemon will be caught. But if you're doing DAs, please get the charm. If you need help with it, we have people in the Discord who are super cool about helping out with that stuff. Exclamation Discord in the chat. Um, yeah. Get the charm. It's such better odds. And one in 100, it still takes a while. Like, I know it seems too good. It isn't. It kind of sucks sometimes. <laughs> one in 300 is rough. So, yeah, don't do that to yourself. Done 61 DAs so far for Suicune, and I phased a Crawdont at 16 DAs. Yeah. Um, 16 DAs with the one in 300 odds? It's not bad. Got a Xerneas path. Raze, go ahead and uh, send me... A code for that. Wanna wanna help me out? <laughs> wanna get me in on a Xerneas? I'd be down. Uh, getting every Pokemon in every Pokedex in Sword was the worst feeling for me. In every Pokedex. Why? I mean, you don't have to get it in every Dex, right? You just have to get the base game Dex. The 400. I'm sorry for what's coming. No. Fur cake, what are you doing?
DAs do take long, but it's fun with others. Yeah, no, it's good for streams. It's a good time. Oh, I picked Tapu Lele. Hold on. We're going to get the code entered for this Xerneas, because we already have Eveltal. Good old Eveltal. Uh, only 400 entries easier than those X and Y days. Only, yeah. <laughs> because it was the, the full national decks back then. Which, in X and Y, what was it? How many Pokemon were in the decks in X and Y? Almost 700? That was a lot of Pokemans. Um, guys, don't enter this before me. Or else we're just going to back out. You probably can't, right? Don't be getting in here too quick. I always have issues connecting with Rays for some reason. I got one. Guys, you just wait. Hold your horses. Zach. Oh my god, we're gonna we're gonna have issues. Rays, I might need you to rehost this. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god, I just picked Raikou. Bear with me, guys. Again, we're just going to reset if you guys enter the code before I get in. So just, you know, just chill, chill. For Cake 2 celebrates one month of membership. Oh, God, Luke. here we go. I am your monkey, 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 front-facing baby chick. There it is. Front-facing baby chick, front-facing baby <laughs> chick, front-facing baby chick. Monkey, I put the code in the monkey, chat, guys. There's a lot of monkeys chick, and front-facing front baby, baby chicks chick, right now. Front-facing baby chick, monkey, 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 front-facing baby chick, front-facing baby chick. Okay, we got it. Uh, for cake, I appreciate you. Uh, the code, guys, 8888-3344 for Xerneas. We need one more. Uh, Zerg, get in here now. You're ready to go. I just, I, we were trying to connect at the same time and we connected with each other. There's something about my games and Raze's game that just, they don't want to connect. Like the ending on that one. Yeah, he always puts a little like, just boom, like period. <laughs> Gives it a little pizzazz on the last one. Really emphasizes it. Yeah. Um, boom. All right. Xerneas. This, I have heard, is kind of difficult. So, we need a squad here. Tried to do a super chat, but it didn't send. So, second best thing. Well, I appreciate you either way. And all of the monkey front-facing baby chicks. This is just steel poison, right? Yikes, we do not have a squad here. Okay, uh... This might be difficult. We'll see. <laughs> what I take away from Calm and Collecting Streams is that You're My Front Facing Baby Chick is a valid pickup line. It could work. I've never personally tried it. I'm not gonna say that it doesn't work though. DB Studios, glad that we finally got the milestone messages reading out. I gotta be honest, I had nothing to do with it. It just randomly started working. There's a Nido King over there. I guess we're going to that. But I'm glad it started working because, uh, yeah, it sucked. It was just something that was just kind of there. Didn't do anything and other things would read them. So it was kind of disappointing that Stream Elements wasn't keeping up with that. After all the DA streams I've been to, I'm actually going to join the next one or try to. Inquisitor, I hope you get in. It's all good. We're, we're going to be running a couple more tonight. <clears throat> Valentine's Day cards. Um, for what? The, the front-facing front facing baby chick? It'd be one of the calm and collecting Valentine Day... I can't read. I can't talk. It's really tough. <laughs> The Calm and Collecting Valentine's Day Cards. You are my front-facing baby chick. We'll have to come up with a few. Maybe it's a good thing. Next year. How noticeable is the giraffe in Scarlet and Violet? It's a little tough. You can, you can see the hooves. The hooves are what I really notice the most with, um, with giraffe rig. I'm trying to think. You could also kind of tell with its... No, it's, it's, 
its butt, which I know sounds a little weird. It goes from uh, like a black to like a brown. So that was what was the most noticeable thing for me. I was looking at its spikes for a long time, trying to see the difference there. And that really was not like doing it for me. It was very difficult to tell with the lighting and stuff, but the back half of it changes colors when it's shiny. So, or candy hearts with the codes for the emotes on them, or maybe the emotes stamped onto them. I don't know what the, uh, <laughs> what the, the whole deal to make that happen would be probably more than the calming collecting budget is but a cool idea nonetheless <laughs> in before the wife is actually a programmer definitely not i'm just gonna say <laughs> xerneas has fairy and grass type moves so be careful with Slowbro. i will get rid of Slowbro for sure then we really don't have like a great squad in general right now so i figured we'd be swapping a lot of stuff blue nose is noticeable on the giraffe yeah it just for some reason i always felt like it was spawning away from me or like kind of sideways where you couldn't see a lot of that stuff uh isn't shiny giraffe rig's nose blue yeah it's the nose and the spikes and the hooves all turn like a blue but for some reason it's kind of tough to tell the hooves are in the grass so you can't really see them the nose and the spikes like, depending on which direction it's turned, the lighting makes it really tough to tell, I felt like. But you guys know me. I'm kind of insane when we're doing these shiny hunts. It's I'm usually losing my mind. Just just like normal. <laughs> uh, cool bug facts. Xerneas has moves. That is a cool bug fact. I appreciate your cool bug facts. Uh, Valentine's Day card ideas. You rock harder than electric diaper. I love you more than chocolate oranges. That is not saying much. I'm just going to tell you right now. I love you more than chocolate oranges is not much of a compliment. <laughs> Finally got shiny male Rolton Oris. Very nice. Um... Four years and three females. It's a very good shiny. So you're going for a Gallade, I'm assuming. <laughs> Our damage output is very low. I would agree. Um, yeah. We we have issues here. And Xerneas is not an easy DA, so I've heard. This is my first one I've ever done, actually. First DA shiny Xerneas, perhaps? Maybe? <laughs> Vladdy you got the job yeah now we just need the procurement we need people to actually make the product that's the tough part the part that actually costs the dollary dues I guess I'm gonna swap X plowed because he's about to die and then I'll probably swap slow bro later <laughs> all right um Nido King we for sure got to go to him. Um, you know, Amukus is over there as well. I mean, I guess he's poison type. I don't know if he has poison moves, but something, right? And he super resists everything that Xerneas has, apparently. When you finish the Xerneas, want to go for a Tapu Koko? Um, yeah, I'm down ceiling can. I'll do one of those after this. <clears throat> If you outsource production to, <laughs> I don't know if I want to outsource to Vietnam and uh, all of that nightmare that you're talking about there. <laughs> if Adidas does it, I can too. Nah, see, I don't think I have the the corporate pull that they have or the funds. Even if it's outsourced, I, I think your boy just does not have the financials for this. It is what it is. I'm not a, a corporate bigwig just a young lad trying my best <laughs> it's my first Xerneas too um twinning <laughs> a huge minecraft base I made a huge minecraft base a tree house on top a hall of shinies so this is in uh Pixelmon an underground zoo a gallery of marked shinies there's marks in Pixelmon. Uh, shiny evolution statues and a few other things. So there's a lot to do in that. That's cool. I like how open-ended it is. 
Amoogus has clear smog and Venoshock. Okay. Venoshock's the way. We just need to get a poison. Man, I'm dead. Why are you dead, Shirk? Why are you so dead? <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. This would be a shiny I'd be down to get, by the way. Nidoking is something I've never had. I would be absolutely very happy to get this, homie. You know, the Xerneas would be nice, but... We'll take what we can get. Uh, Calmelius Collectathon the Third. I humbly ask thou for permission to join the Tapu Koko DA. You have the permission, although the code deal is kind of tough sometimes. You know how it be, but you you definitely do have the permission. Would gladly phase on this. Yeah, he's a good shiny. Uh, it's in the Switch edition. No mods. Ah, uh, what? There's Pokemon stuff in the Switch Minecraft? Uh, that's interesting that they added all that. I didn't... This doesn't even have a poison move. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to swap Slowbro either way, I guess. <laughs> uh, I've hatched at least 150 Chillet eggs and nothing than I now has gone to hunt an Hisui Growlithe. Shirk's having issues. I'm pretty sure that Palpitoad has Acid Spray, by the way. But I think we should probably go Amoogus anyways. Acid Spray's pretty good, though. <clears throat> Imagine Nintendo made the 4DS XL. My wife is here to cause trouble. Thought they added Mario stuff, not Pokemon. Apparently, they added Pokemon stuff. <laughs> Fuji Toby is uh, living a very interesting life right now. Very interesting indeed. I guess I'm just gonna do bounce. I don't know, dude. It's bedtime, it's bedtime says my wife. We're gonna do one more DA after this, and I guess that's gonna be my last no, one. My wife says, she "No, she's she's locked me down." <laughs> but it's ten o'clock in the morning. <laughs> uh, thought they added Mario. Oh, why did that pop up again? I am losing my mind, dude. Uh, my Pal World pal died because someone shot it. Yeah, no, that's what happens in Pal World. It's kind of rough in uh, the mean streets of Pal World. Thought they removed the Pokemon stuff. They added it and then removed it from Minecraft? But why? <laughs> That'd be a big L if they decided to add some cool stuff like that and then just got rid of it. Yeah, the uh, the power of life, that's just how it goes. That's, uh, what? My wife's just in here messing with stuff on my desk, just harassing me. Oh my god, bro, come on. <laughs> Nido King is going to be asleep this whole Xerneas fight now. She's here to cast judgment upon you. Yeah, she does that a lot. There's a lot of judgment happening in here. Not seeing anything official about Minecraft Pokemon. You lying to me? Who was it that said? It was Nicholas. Don't you be lying to me, Nicholas. <laughs> when I get a new shiny, I put a sign in the halls for it. Yeah, this is Pixelmon. Right? It's gotta be. Which is fine. Pixelmon, you know. But if it's on the Switch, you can't really mod it, right? Like, there's no way that you're getting Pixel Mod on the Switch. Hmm. <clears throat> Nito wakes up. I hope you're right. You're wrong. <laughs> I was hoping you were correct. I think I'm going to get one more chance to wake up, though. But if I don't, I think the timer resets, right? Like, or the, the turns that it takes to wake up. Oh, he's an EP boy. Me too. Uh, seeing videos of how to play Pixelmon on the Switch, but most don't really work, and I'm definitely not seeing anything official. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'm just going to do a Pokeball on this. If it's shiny, it'll look like a Master Ball, but what can you do? 
Um, you can buy user-made mod packs, basically. Oh. Um, like through the Nintendo store? Hmm. Neat. Interesting. Love the 3DS games so much more than the Switch games. 3DS era was peak. Um, they had a lot of really good shiny hunting options and stuff. Somebody should grab this. Honestly, Lopany is not good. Like, really, really not good against this. Zerg, I know that you really want to get this, but I feel like I have to try to swap Lopany because it is really bad. <laughs> like, it is really, really bad. It would be doing nothing during this boss fight. I'm sorry to, like, snipe this from you, but <laughs> at least... At least your thing can do some damage. The Lopany was literally going to be using bounce. <laughs> and it was going to be a very bad time. <laughs> um, <laughs> Through the Minecraft store. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Poor Zerg. Yeah, I know. I, I wasn't happy about having to do this. But, you know, we got to do what we got to do for the team here. I guess I'm just going to do high horsepower. I'm just going to do my stab move. You know, the nice thing is, is as long as this haunter lives for a couple turns, we get special attack up every time it does this poison move. So, yeah, definitely not officially. I got you. I, you know, I thought maybe there was a chance that on the Nintendo store, because you know, like Tekken, they had Tekken Tag 2 on the Wii U, and it had a bunch of like Mario modes where you can get like super mushrooms and stuff, and it was kind of cool. Oh, God. <laughs> this poor Ndidi. Just insult to injury for Zerg. <laughs> Gonna go to sleep, Zoe. We'll see you around. Thanks for hanging out. Um, oh, it's defense down. Oh, you crazy, Zerg. Zerg is going in. Yes, you are in danger. It doesn't matter how calm your mind is. This thing is chonky, dude. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, sent you the code in the Discord. Ceiling Cat, I appreciate you. After we definitely win this, I'll be popping in there. Please live. Okay, this is fine. As long as we're getting some defense downs. <clears throat> Y'all are in dangers. Yeah, we haven't had any KOs yet, have we? Like, we're still not in too bad of a spot. It's not great. But it's not terrible. Don't have any poison moves. Um, oh, what is it that you're using that's lowering its defense? Yeah. Because <laughs> we only have one physical attacker is the other thing. Uh, Indeedy, make sure you're using Psy Shock. On this if you have that. I don't know if you only have expanding force or what. I almost wonder if I should be trying to get like a burn or a freeze or something with the punches. <clears throat> Just watch the little cutie Nebby evolve into the big boy Solgaleo <laughs> was in my feels a bit not gonna lie. Honestly the Gen 7 story was um pretty good. I kind of like the characters and the little story stuff that was going on and like Lily's progression and uh, how the legendary was kind of like involved in all of it through the whole story. I thought it was cool. It was a good time. People really slept on Gen 7. Why no Thunder Punch? Because fun para. Yeah, but the ground attack is stab and physical, which is... You know, whatever. I can try it. I don't think we need to now, though. <laughs> the paralysis would have been nice early on. It's, like, unnecessary now, though. Goodbye, Haunter. <laughs> you did your best. <laughs> uh, call, call Matheon. Call Matheon? I don't know if that's how this is said. How many shiny legendaries do you have left to get? Um... Did I literally just miss a 95% accurate stomping tantrum? Is that what just happened right now? 
95% guys. I hit the 5%. Um, <clears throat> how many KOs do we have? I mean, we still should be fine. That's fine. I don't know how many shiny legendaries I still need from this. Okay, that's fine. This should live too. Uh, luckily, we're all really chunky. So, if it's not 100%, it's 50%. There it is. A truer fact has never been stated. 5% twice in a row. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Two 5%. <laughs> oh, he needs some milk. <laughs> that The odds of that happening are uh, 20 times 20. So, a 1 in 400 chance. Uh, let me just tell you, that's higher than my chance of finding a shiny times 4. That was a 1 in 400 for me to miss a 5% two times in a row like that. Sudowoodo with the gifty. I appreciate you, buddy. Nicholas, make sure you say thanks. Everybody else get a pay button. Some Mr. Kappas in the chat. This is our 19th and 20th check since our last shiny. No Lopany. No Nido King. That is too bad. No Amoogus. Xerneas. First one ever. And second one ever. Here we go. Dude. Okay. So let me just say. When I saw it with its light blue horns. Not in like its battle mode. It got me a little excited for a second. <laughs> I was like oh my god we got it. And then it wasn't. Let me just look just to make sure. This is copium because I know this isn't shiny. <laughs> I think I want to save this, but I don't know what I'd want to overwrite with this. Um, Let me just look at what I got on my list here. And I really raise. Please keep this for a little bit. Don't don't get rid of this yet because I need this. I'm not going to keep it. Um. Let me see. Ceiling Cat sent me a code. Ceiling Cat, are you hosting? Are you ready to go? Hi. <laughs> I'm going to get a code entered in. Bear with me, guys. I almost read the code aloud. I'm awaiting Ceiling Cat's confirmation that we're good to go. You guys just enjoy the background for a minute. This one's a little difficult to type in here. Ceiling Cat, I'm ready to search. You just let me know. Uh, and this is going to be a DA for... Um, what was it for, Ceiling Cat? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what Ceiling Cat said. But something cool. Oh, Tapu Coco. Tapu Coco. Searching. All right. Here we go. Big money. I just clicked search at the same time. This might... Okay. We're good. Guys, the code for Tapu Coco is 01550080. I put it in the chat, too. This is for a Tapu Coco. Ground poison? Is that it? Because it resists steel because of the electric, right? Is it just ground poison? Huh. Pseudo Wudo. Gonna Skyrim and hang? I get it. Yeah, the codes and lobbies and stuff, and it is what it is. Just grounded poison. Pretty interesting typing, actually. This is kind of a squad. Let me just say not a terrible squad to start out. We're going to take the girder. What does Surge Surfer do? I thought that that thing had lightning rod. But what do... A surge Surfer is probably like an electric terrain thing, right? Get gird. We got gird. We did, in fact. <laughs> DB Studios got in. You love to see it. 
Um, so ground poison is all we are looking for. You left me that girder. I know you did. Uh, oh, there's, okay. There's a uh, digger's bee right there. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Not a bad squad. Let's go right. We have a Mr. Kappa in our path, though. We don't want to hurt him too bad, but, you know, we're going to show him what for. <laughs> Surge Surfer is like Swift Swim, but for electric terrain. There you go. Makes sense. Is your wife still around? If she is, show her what I sent on the Discord. Oh, God. She is around, but not uh, here specifically. These are my children. I can ship them if she wants children. <laughs> um, you know, I am going to go ahead and pass on that. I'm going to, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, you don't want them? Okay, babe, I'll, I'll let him know. There you go. <laughs> I'll show her when she's up here. I refuse to pay for any shipping charges on children or anything of the like. I want nothing to do with it. Enjoy the, the children life, though. You know, to each their own. <laughs> um, and Christian, posting a Ray Ray. Guys, if you are looking for DAs, get in these ones that are in the chat. We got a bunch of people that are ready to run DAs. Get these codes going. And if you're looking for people like when I'm off stream, the DA channel in the Discord is always popping. So... Get in there. If you're trying to get some of these shiny legendaries, especially the ones I already have, like Ray Ray, it's uh, easier with the homies in the Discord. I can ship them free of charge. Nope. <laughs> Refuse. <laughs> Heck, I'll give you money. See, this is where the desperation happens. This is the... <laughs> please. <laughs> Just... I'll, I'll cut you a deal. <laughs> so happy that one of my favorite animes called that time I got reincarnated as a slime is finally back with season 3. I have not watched it. I have seen or heard of it. Uh, I don't really know what it's about. Uh, besides, obviously, the guy got reincarnated as a slime. I'm assuming it's like an isekai thing, though, right? He gets hit by Truck Chan, and then he uh, he's a slime. <laughs> What's your favorite Pokemon game? Kind of depends. I really like Legends. I really like Gen 3. Um, but Aorus is like a really nice, like, modern take on that. So maybe Aorus, maybe Legends, just because it was so cool and different. Depends on the day. But that's the nice thing. I don't just have to have one that I shiny hunt in. If I had to have one for the rest of forever... I don't know if I can pick just one. It's tough, dude. <laughs> uh, wasn't interested before, but the free shipping has piqued my curiosity. Yeah, you know, uh, if anybody needs some help around the, the house, maybe the shiny hunting uh, basement situation that we talked about, you know, I'm not going to judge you. <laughs> Oris is the best, not going to lie. That's a good time. Definitely a good one. It's an isekai, uh, but it's a very good isekai anime. You know I have a soft spot for him. It just depends. Some of them can be a little... But, you know, I, I've liked some of them before. I, I have a few that I'm a fan of. They can come feed the burbs. Yeah, get them working on the, the farm, the bird area. <laughs> Not Truck Coon. Yeah. Yeah, he he does some good work for the anime community. I feel like a male Salazzle would just be a knockoff of the Indoraptor. I don't know what that looks like, but I feel like that is an easy... Let's go middle, by the way. We want that Diggersby. Um, a male Salazzle would be an easy regional form, and it'd be cool, too. I think it'd be neat to have an option for the evolution of it. Wise glasses? Sure. We're taking this muscle band too. We're going to get jacked. <clears throat> uh, it's honestly the only isekai I have watched. Um, you know, they're, they're a little bit of a mixed bag. Sometimes they're pretty cliche, but I have a few that I liked. I mean, it's, I'm a big weeb. <laughs> 
<laughs> Since when are children help, Tsuda Wudo? Uh, Inquisitor and Fujitobi are trying to cut a deal here. Fujitobi's really trying to... These are bargain prices. <laughs> Was playing Pokemon Emerald on my Mac using an emulator during class. My teacher saw my screen and instead of scolding, asked how I was playing that. She told me she played it as a kid. Bro, you know what hurts is that this, this teacher saying that they played it as a kid is just me being an old man. I don't, I know I am. <laughs> Base teacher. No, I... Yeah, I agree. They had good taste in video games. Like, oh, that was my childhood. You know what sucks is like... I mean, I guess I played Emerald when I was a kid too, but I was still like... I wasn't like super, super young. What was I, like 12, 13? When Emerald was out, right? It's like 2002, 2003. I'm an old man. A very old man. Uh, watch Asobi Asobase. It's peak comedy. Um, I So, like, a lot of times I don't know the Japanese names, to be perfectly honest with you. Let me know what what that is in Ego. <laughs> uh, my teacher's like 30, yep. Yeah. So an old person like me. Yeah, is what it is. <laughs> I'm living the millennial life. I, I'm technically a millennial, I guess. Right? The right you didn't deserve it, man. You really did not deserve that. This is kind of tough. I don't know what the deal is here. Here we go. It's Asobi. Oh, they just call it Asobi? I might have to see what the characters are. It's not Jover. It's, it's fine. We got a good squad here. Emerald was my third Pokemon game and fourth game ever. Uh, Diggersby has huge power. Uh, I didn't know that. I just looked up some screenshots of Asobi, and this looks like insanity. <laughs> I don't know what the heck is going on here. Uh, yeah. You know, we might check it out with the wife. Who knows? It's It'll be on the list, just like everything else, right? I'm going to swap out Raichu. We have a responsibility as elder millennials to pass on the wisdom. We have survived an absolute dumpster fire of a time. Yeah, that is a fact. Uh, my elementary school had a lock-in, and we, were, we watched Pokemon the Movie 2000. Good times, good times. I think we just go clink clang and we blast it with ground moves. I'm gonna go left. We just need to pick the easy path now. Yeah, I got that Asobi Asobase. And it's only 12 episodes. I love that. I like it when an anime is nice and short. I don't have to have a whole bunch of time invested in it. A nice 12 episode season is all that I want. <laughs> Yeah, no, I got you, Fuji. I appreciate it. Pokemon Red was my first video game, period. Um, Blue was one of my first ever. I'm trying to remember, though. I'm pretty sure my first video game ever was... Um, Hold on, sorry. I'm going to do Dig, just not to waste any of the... Uh, I maybe do one coaching. I'm going to do one coaching. I think my first video game was Mario 64 on the N64. I'm pretty sure the N64 was my first console. And that was the, the moment in time where I said no more sports, video games. I used to go out and play baseball and soccer and all kinds of stuff. And then I got an N64. And then my whole life turned around. Some might think it's the opposite of that. And then I went in, and I remember asking my dad for a Game Boy Color. I really wanted Pokemon. I wanted Pokemon Blue. And I was already into Mario 64, 
Mario Kart and like Diddy Kong Racing. And I can't remember if, I think Ocarina of Time was a little bit later because like I still wasn't super clear on like a lot of what was going on even in Mario 64's dialogue. And I know for sure that Ocarina of Time was way like above my understanding level at the time, I think. <laughs> we were young and had so much energy that ended up getting poured into video games and it was a fantastic time. A great time indeed. The Blue Flame, welcome in. We're just enjoying some nostalgia tonight. Thinking about the good old days. N64, a love story. Indeed. Uh, he had to recharge. This is good. We really are pretty, like, squishy right now, though. We can't die anymore. I uh, think Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi was my first game ever. Um... So you're just you're a little younger just a little lad <laughs> I never owned a PlayStation growing up so I never got any of the DBZ games which sucked because I was like really into it growing up um <clears throat> try not to spend my youth playing video games I want to go out and uh, sew stuff I want to go out and sew stuff actually yeah sew stuff there's there's a fine line, you know? You can play video games and also go out and do things. It doesn't have to be one or the other. I personally kind of locked in on the video game deal, but you don't have to do it that way. <laughs> the fact that I'm getting... <laughs> Bougie Toby's having some issues right now. Uh, still confident that I'm going to have a better output than 90% of my colleagues. Um, Bougie Toby, I get that sometimes. I understand that uh, it's tough to find good help. <laughs> Can't wait for Tenkaichi 4 to come out. Is that a thing? Are they still making them? I mean, I know they're making Dragon Ball Z games and stuff still. All right, guys, I'm going to do one coaching with Girder. Big damage. Should play Lil Gator game. I don't know what that is. And there, oh, wow, I thought Girder was Dunzo. Whoa, he has no defense. I thought that. Does Sandslash not have a steel move? I guess steel, steel or ice is what you should probably be doing, right? That burn is pretty nice, actually. Pseudowoodo, I appreciate you. Five dollars from Pseudodont. Skyrim is teaching me poking and needs more interactions mm. like lock picking, big pocket, and deception. Mm -hmm. Team mm -hmm. Rocket game web. <laughs> Dot. <laughs> um, you know, a Team Rocket game would be pretty interesting. I don't know if they'll ever do it, but I think it would sell well. It'd kind of be like Legends, a big shift, right? There goes Girder. We knew it was happening. R.I.P. Girder does not have a steel move. Yeah, that's too bad. You at least get stabbed with an ice thing. But I think we kill here. We all have coaching now, so we're doing big boy damage. Uh, it only hits Sand Slash, and you resist it. Okay. We're fine. Okay, please don't miss. Yeah, alright. Good. I was a little scared little scared but we're fine here we go this one's definitely luxury ball all of the tapus go in luxury ball don't want to uh don't want any change to the level of violence just the level of petty crimes <laughs> i get it i'm down <laughs> uh graffiti with graffiti yeah just causing trouble i think it'd be kind of cool See you kind of like going through the ranks of Team Rocket a little bit. Maybe uh, they could spin it to be a positive thing too. You know, you join for certain reasons and then you kind of realize what's going on. They could they could spin it in not like a you're just an evil dude way. Guys, this is our 21st and 22nd DA since our last shiny. No Mr. Kappa. No Diggersby. No Kling Kling. Tapu Coco. No. Tapu, no, no. Get me out of here, dude. 
Um, <clears throat> all right. We're going to do one last DA. No, we're not getting any kids with free shipping. You heard incorrectly. Here's the kids that have already been purchased for farm work. They've been... They're cute, she says. No, she said she doesn't want any. She said no, no, no children, please. She appreciates the offer. Both. No. Both. Absolutely not. Um, I don't think they'll fit in the P.O. box. Just so we're clear here, I don't think it's working out. We are going to do the last DA of the night. This is going to be a thunderous, the thumbnail hunt. Guys, if you're in the last one, please don't join back to back. Everybody else, now's your time to shine. 8888, oh God. 5569 is the final code of the night. She can come fetch them free of charge. She's just looking for a reason to go to Japan too, I'm telling you. All right, here we go. Big money. The final run. Uh, rock, ice, sometimes ground if we get smacked down. That is it. This is not a great start here. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, let her do it. They'll be delivered to someone else anyway. There it is. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Go ahead. Go take the trip. The, the house might be sold at that point. I'm going to need to make a, a daring escape. <laughs> uh, Ceiling Cat, I appreciate you hanging out. We'll uh, see you around on the next one. She could at least be the godmother. I, you don't know what this, this crazy lady is capable of, man. I don't think you want to sign that up. You don't want anything to do with that. Uh, first, first ever call DA. Um, oh, you're in on this. I didn't realize. All right, we need something rock. I see uh, Gastrid on there. Colossal on the right. Yikes, dude. I think we got to go right because we can't kill that Copperaja. We do not have attacks for that. <laughs> we will die if we go to that Copperaja. When are we going to Japan next? <clears throat> when are we going to Japan next? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't have the dollary dues. Um, nope. My wife says she does. She just has access to my bank account. That's not the same thing. It's not what we're doing. We need to save up. Uh, Shiny Latios in Radical Red. Very nice. Your wife seems like a pretty cool guy. <laughs> who, who doesn't afraid of anything. Ah, yes. Stationed in Yokohama. I think that next time we go, we're probably going to be rolling through there at some point. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Isn't Need to Pearl do some damage. Isn't Pearland, on the, way to Isn't Pearland in, on, the way. on the way to Yokohama? No. Pearland was north of Tokyo, I think, right? Oh, it's like south. oh, it was like southwest, wasn't it? Yeah. So not really. Yokohama's like south from Tokyo. And Pearland was like, kind of like south or west of Tokyo. It's in kind of a weird spot. What? My wife doesn't like Bolton. I don't really either. <laughs> what ball should I catch it in? The shiny Latios? I think I went net ball for it because it's kind of teal. Um, it is as Calm says. There it is. I have a slight understanding of the layout of Japan. Some parts. DB Studios, enjoy your Monster Hunter. What Monster Hunter game are you playing? Latios, my brother. Latios, yeah. That's what I said. Netball. Which is kind of like a teal. Like Latios. Make it happen. <clears throat> You're playing Rise. Gotcha. Yeah, I never really played Rise after the, uh, the base game. I know the DLC and stuff came out and kind of added a bunch to it, but... Never went back to it to play through the DLC. Dude, that did like four damage. <laughs> it gets stronger every time it hits. It was like four, eleven, and then what, like sixteen? Um. 
<laughs> Fuji Toby. All the jokes aside, there is absolutely zero chance I'm acquiring any children, even if I go to Japan. I just want to let you know, just so the expectations are set properly. <laughs> Uh, plan on getting World after completing Rise. World is 10 out of 10. My favorite Monster Hunter game ever released. It is fantastic. Enjoy it. The DLC is good too, obviously. You can just wait for like a Steam sale or something, or I guess it depends on what you're going to buy it on, but I played it on PS4 and then on PC, but uh, yeah, it's a good time don't need to acquire anything your wife is see that's what hers what's hers is mine that's me acquiring it indirectly this thing has triple axle actually this isn't bad if one of you guys wants to grab this one of you guys probably should grab this <coughs> yeah yeah I don't think that's a bad call uh, can I come to Japan with you next time? I'm free shipping. Well, you free ship yourself over there and maybe we'll we'll meet you when you're there. <laughs> That's the only way you're getting over there. Uh, does Whiskash have any rock moves? I'm going to go to Whiskash, but I don't think so. I don't feel like it does. Good thing about... Uh, God parenthood is that you can return them to the parents anytime. Okay, so let's just, in theory, say that I am. I've already returned them to you. Just pretend that that's already happened. <laughs> we can eliminate the middleman here. Just pretend that they have already been returned. The deal has been made. Triple Quaxwell, there it is. So unfair to your wife. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. You know, I think she'll get over it, though. She'll be fine. I feel like this thing has toxic, maybe? Should I taunt this? I'll just get a Fury Cutter. We're going in with Fury Cutter. Yeah, no. We're not living the, the kid life. She knew what she was signing up for when we got married. When we got together, we had this discussion before all of that. Um, you know, is what it is. Baby, baby fever is a strong force. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It takes two to tango. That's all I'm going to say. Your boy ain't going to tango if, if there's danger afoot. Yeah, DB Studios, it is a masterpiece. It is very, very good. <clears throat> we need to ditch wheezing. Neutralizing gas is hurting us, I think. Um, what does it do? What does neutralizing gas even do? It gets rid of abilities? I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, might want to pass down your Pokemon ways to the next generation someday. Then you will also have the baby fever. Nah, it's fine. The next generation already likes Pokemon. It's fine. They don't need my assistance in getting into Pokemon. They're, they're all pretty much down with it now. I do have a lot of really good Pokemon cards. When I kick the bucket, dude, I don't know who the heck is getting... All of these Pokemon cards, but they are going to be worth a lot of money, I think, in the the future future. You know, in a, a cool however many years it takes for Calm to kick the bucket. I'm an old man, so shorter than I would like, I think. Passing it down through us. There it is, Jessica. I like the way you think. I'm, it's, I'm doing my part digitally without having to pay for kids. I used to think I liked you, then the baby fever suddenly hit me. Um, no, I will not fall victim to the biological clock, which I don't think is exactly how that works. <laughs> no biology will convince me. Mind over matter. Personally want a baby when I'm older, but the thought of bringing another ginger into this world gives me pause. <laughs> uh, Froggy B, 
I, you know, I haven't lived tr- through that, that life. You would know better than I do. <laughs> Don't be, you know, you just need to, I think, get with somebody who has a very dark complexion, really dark hair, brown eyes, all that stuff. And I think it'll probably like woof, counteract all of that. And then you don't have to worry about it. You know, if you're just, you can min-max the genetics a little bit. And I think kind of, uh, kind of like Pokemon breeding, getting the right ability, the right IVs. You can probably make it happen, I think. Uh, you can always just push your animals around in a stroller as a stand-in. Yeah, my wife would do that too. Just ran over a dog toy. Hold on. My nose is running a little bit. I kind of feel like... Okay, so Colossal... I guess we have to go Colossal. This thing just kind of sucks. Let's... Let's try to get the Colossal Gigantamaxed. I think that's the only way that this is going to be nice and quick. Because Meteor Beam just kind of sucks. Never been interested in relationships or having children. Who needs mini humans when I can have lizards? You know, I can't really argue with that logic. The the lizards sound like a, a good time. <laughs> Watch my sister have kids is what taught me I did not want them. Yeah. But being close to the, the kid deal, I could see that maybe talking you out of it. <laughs> I get it. I'm not patient enough uh, of a person to raise well-adjusted humans. And I feel the same way. I know I'm a calm lad in the chat. Uh, just day in, day out, though, I feel like I'd be losing my mind. I don't think I could do it. And I think that's a, a good thing that we are able to, you and I, raise. We're able to accept that about ourselves. And we might not be the the right fit for this. You've seen uh, Idiocracy, though, right? I feel like it could just be some of that. No shade towards anybody who has kids. <laughs> but it's like the, oh, we couldn't possibly, not in this economy. We couldn't do this. No, it's not the right time. Like, <laughs> Jimbo, I'm pregnant again. <laughs> no shame. But, uh, yeah, I cannot. Dude, I just think about it so logically and just think about, like, the financials and, like, the... No, I already don't sleep. I can't imagine if I had some kid knocking down my door, like... Ugh. I can't. I can't do it. This really has been a, an anti-baby stream tonight. It really has... It wasn't supposed to be that way. And I think that there are a lot of people who are set up and it makes sense for them to have kids. They plan for it. They want to do that. That's kind of their thing that they've been leading up towards. I have cousins and stuff who like their whole thing, they always wanted a family. They wanted to go out on the boat and hang out with their fam. That was always like the thing them and all of their family did. I get that. I want to sit in a dark room playing Pokemans, collecting cards. Not really the vibe for the the kids <laughs> uh understand that for me personally i also have biological reasons um yeah that's another thing uh my wife has the twin gene in her like family line dude there's so much genetic crap like bad stuff in the mix too but the the idea that i could just be slapped with twins like that too just freaks me out bro i couldn't do it it scares me <laughs> can't do it uh if you don't 100 percent want to be a parent do not do it yeah that's the way you don't want to be uh angry about it Leave the siblings to continue the bloodline. I want lizards and goose stickers. What is a goose sticker? <laughs> um, Inquisitor, I guess if you want to grab this, this might be 
Uh, maybe as Cavalier. Uh, I'm going to try with this Cavalier. He really doesn't have any attacks for this thing. Yeah, this is fine. We're, we got like a pretty decent squad for this. We're all healed up too. Uh, the thing about financials is that if two people aren't hungry, a third or fourth won't fall victim to the hunger either. Uh, you'll just, you'll make a great father someday, mark my words. You will be someday. Uh, the, the clock is ticking. I'm just waiting out the timer at this point. I don't want, <laughs> I'm not rushing any of that. I'm not feeling the vibe. <laughs> Stickers that look like geese. No, I mean, I, I didn't realize there was a big goose sticker community, I guess. All right, we got the Gigantamax Colossal here. This is it. Kid doesn't deserve a resentful parent. I agree. I agree. And I gotta be honest, I feel like if I did have a kid, I would probably just be, like, a, a really cool guy and I'd be happy about it, whatever, right? Like, there's something mentally like a switch that gets flipped when you see a little you running around but that switch hasn't been flipped yet I'm thinking about it before the switch has been flipped and I'm trying to keep it that way trying to keep the switch unflipped because <laughs> like I financially could take care of a kid I could do all this stuff I'm hoping I don't have to but uh yeah you know, you know how it goes. Love how we went from a pocket monsters, children, and parenting. Yeah, we're covering all bases tonight. Thought you already had children. You remind me of a father so much. Because all the bad dad jokes and stuff. Is that what we're talking about here? The stream father. <laughs> Calm's baby would look just like him, but bobblehead. Just his head running around on a tiny body. Yeah, that would be cursed. He'd be like Boss Baby. Uh, too many humans already. Yeah. Uh, plus, dude, it's kind of scary at some of these schools and stuff, man. It freaks me out sometimes. In Japan, you don't really have a lot of issues with that. Nice, safe. You know, the... Uh, <laughs> they, they have that show where they go and send them on their first errand uh, old enough. Yeah, that's a thing. Send a four-year-old out to the store, they go and they sometimes take the bus, sometimes get on a train or something. It's kind of crazy, dude. They have a lot of people walking around with them, but, you know, it just shows how safe the streets are out there. Um, <laughs> uh, it starts with thoughts like these. You're on the perfect way to parenthood. Absolutely not. The last check of the night. Guys, this is DA 23 and 24. Here we go. Uh, we're almost at odds. We're one DA away from odds. So. I'm hoping. I'm hopeful. Something. Although there's a lot of things I really don't want. I really do not want that. Um, that colossal. Right, here we go. Final, all right, dude, <laughs> bro, <laughs> here we go. Final check of the night, guys. No Cinchino, no Whiskash, no Colossal, good. Thunderous. I don't think he's shiny. Let me just check manually. He's not. Thunderous is a male? I didn't realize that Thunderous had a gender, <laughs> which is kind of weird for a legendary. Guys, it is not the time. Um, good God, bro. We got some interesting comments at the end of stream. Um, if you guys haven't liked the stream yet, please consider doing it. Help your boy out on the algorithm. If you haven't subbed yet, we're on our way to 12K. We're making our way there. Um, I appreciate everybody who has supported tonight. We had a bunch of people super chatting and gifting memberships and doing all that stuff. I appreciate you guys. I know you don't have to pay to watch me on YouTube. 
so it means a lot that you guys decide to do it anyways. Uh, we have a few people paying even more for these memberships. We have Woodrow the Kid, Panky Rang, Zonathan04, Sir Shicker, Kasane V2, Z Toxic, Oxford Striplin, Chrissy, Ellie Dogmead, Vlad Shorts, Fuji Toby, Gilgamesh, Porsche Nut 92, Pseudo Wudont, Avatar Hassani 17, McPablo Joel, and in the cultist here we have Mistaken, Oriso, Ray's Plays, Eighth Anguish of the Grandmaster Sailing Cat Ouroboros, and Volt, paying a ridiculous amount of money. Really, really appreciate you guys. Stick around because we're going to raid somebody after this. Um, I need to figure out who the heck we're going to raid though. Bear with me. I'm looking. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll raid Trash Can Man. It's been a hot minute. Um, guys, we're gonna raid Trash Can Man. We're gonna do a <laughs> Fuji Toby. What the heck, dude? Fuji, I appreciate you, buddy. Guys, we're gonna do a hashtag calm raid. Fuji Toby, what a lad, indeed. <laughs> We're going to do a hashtag home raid. Please, guys, do not spam. Be respectful. Give them a like, hang out for a little bit, and I will see you tomorrow. Same time. Yeah, Zerg. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys over at Trash Can Man's.